Whoa. Whoa. Oh, right. I'm wearing a green shirt. And everything sounds way different now. Hello, everyone. Face of here. I'm hearing the echo, really annoying echo sound, which I hate. Um, but why isn't game showing? It's being captured. Also, I don't hear it. It just got very loud all of a sudden. Um, but um, I did a uh, an update to the stream area, like uh, that desk that I ordered many, 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 many moons ago. Finally showed up. Um, so um, this is kind of kind of be a test stream to make sure everything is looking okay. I really do not like that. My uh, mic is starting to scream in my headphones. Um, why isn't my game getting captured? Game. It should be. It's right there. Oh, now it shows up. Okay, just minimize it. All right. So mostly today's going to be a test stream. Just kind of have fun. Um, so this game, Final Fantasy XIV, is a game um, I picked up. Oh my god, that sound. Let me. Um, I picked up this game uh, when it first came out, and I played it for like two weeks or something uh, because it was when uh, the government was shut down and I was on furlough, so I was playing it. Um, but I have not played it since, so I have no idea what it's about. I'm gonna have to definitely uh, relearn it. Um, I did have a character. Um... Oh, there you go. On Ultros, I do remember that. Confirm. Oh, okay. So I don't know how any of this works. So this is all... Hey, I remember you. I made a cat person? I don't remember making a cat person. But cool. All right. Her name was Riora Lockhart. And... Does it tell me what levels? Oh, she's a level 38 warrior. What's the max level in this game? I don't know what this is. I don't know what Guardian is. They actually have a birthday? That's kind of cool. <laughs> She's a level one conjurer. Um, so if I remember right, this game is really cool because you can um, have one character play every class, which I think is really dope. So, we might play around for a little bit. I'm guessing uh, I will start with her. Actually, you know what? <gasps> Let's see. Why can't I have these people? Maybe those are DLC. Oh, and those are... You can't have the opposite gender. Whoa! It's a... He kind of looks like a goat person. Oh, he's cool. Stinking gnome. Uh, attire, small clothes. Small clothes is underwear. Got it. I can change their... Oh, that's kind of cool. Adjust graphic settings. I already did all that. Just time of day. Okay, so I want to see what the character creation's like. I don't remember. What's the difference? Oh, their attributes slightly change. More strength. Okay, they're more dexterous. Is there in depth? That's not too bad, I guess. Eh, we'll go back. I just, I wanted to see if there was like sliders and stuff, but it doesn't look like it. So we'll play Ace Gainsboro. The world is currently full. Oh, okay. Just wait for eight people. Hello, friend. <gasps> it's a Kupo! How's it going, friend? I'm taking these off. I think I need to mess with my 
my color settings because they seem a little goofy. Or it's because I'm not used to this monitor in this orientation. Because if I drag it over to this one, then it looks okay. It's a Moogle. Open the final planet. I'm getting a crap ton of letters. I have seven letters and I just logged in. I'm very important. The addiction will let it consume you. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about this game, so if you play it, feel free to fill me in on any of this stuff. Open the Final Fantasy Lodestone Play Guide. Sure, I don't know. Let's check that out. Oh, that looks like a lot of reading, so let's not do that. I'm doing okay. How you doing, Kubo? I'm, I'm testing out a, uh, a whole new stream setup that I have, so kind of... I want to make sure things are okay before we actually play stuff. Uh, no, I don't want to see that. You play this too much? Okay, cool. You can help me. Um, stone. I don't want that. Get out of here. I don't want this. There you go. What is this? Teleport. How do I do that? Return, instantly return to your current home. Reduce your body to ether. And instantly teleport to any aetherite to which you have previously tuned. Don't know what that is. Oh, I have to push a button to sprint? Okay. Well, maybe I'll keep that there. What's this? Okay, that's a spell. What data set are you on? Um, primal, and I'm on Ultros. Oh, I appreciate you popping in. See, now I can look at you guys while I'm reading chat. Um, hello. Did I say that? It said in chat, but nothing happened on my, my body. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to this person, or tenant. Hey, dude. <gasps> Welcome back. Crap. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Koopo, you beautiful bean! Thank you so much Vasive, for the sub! Cozy, vasive, cozy, vasive, cozy. I didn't have the, the treats. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have them. Also, can you see? You can see it, Jada. You can see it, Jada, but... You say, take them for the cookies! Take them for the sub! Here you go. Come get them. Here go. Yum. Yum. Alright. I'm still finding stuff that I need for normal stream. You're on Primal? Nice. I'm on Hyperion. I can come to your world since you're on Primal. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's um, cross-realm help as long as you're within the data center region. Neat. I really like the UI. It looks pretty clean. Once you've initiated a quest, a proctor will appeal it. Appear detailing its objectives. Yeah, that does make sense. Okay. Non-player characters, yes. Okay. To be recognized as an adventurer in the city-state of Gridania, you must first register yourself with the Adventurer's Guild. Okay. Oh, it's not voice acted? Another green adventurer, I presume. I thought as much. We cannot allow strangers to wander Gridania unchecked and untested. Before you rush off and begin pestering every second citizen for work, I suggest you make yourself known at the Carleen Canopy. That's the headquarters of the local adventurers guild, in case you're wondering. Okay. The Carleen Canopy is the building you see behind me. Speak to Mother Bjorn within, and she will take you, take you in hand. Got it. Oh, some is voice acted? Okay. I'm assuming, like, actual cutscenes are voice acted then. You have begun a quest. Yes. On the duty list to help you complete your task. Again, tell me how to open that. Oh, it's really down here. Character. Daha! Found it. 
Upon accepting a quest, the current objectives will appear under the quest title in the duty list on the right side of the screen. Okay. Maximum of five quests can be displayed at once. Clicking on the title will open the quest in the journal. Okay. Neat. I need to speak with Mion. Mion? Mion? Hey. How you doing, friend? Can I jump? I can jump! I'm a cat person jumping. I actually do that. Like a cat person. Okay. They said come in here. Whoa, you're a big dude. The wood is watching me, pervert. Look at all these people. These aren't people, right? They're not players. How do I know who, who's a player and who's not? Complete the quest by right-clicking. Yeah, yeah. I, I figured that out. Hi! How are you? I'm pretty. Well, well, what do we have here? I like your earring. What? I'm wondering, young adventurer, come to put your name down in the guild, I presume? Sure. Look at my hair! It's got a cool fade. Welcome, mute. Welcome. My own's my name, or brother my own is most call me. The Carlin Canopy is my place. She's tall. As the head of the Adventurers Guild in Gridania, I have the honor of providing guidance to the fledgling heroes who pass through our gates. Neat. No matter your ambitions, the guild is here to help you att attain them. Oh, oops, sorry. That's a kid! In return, we expect you to fulfill your duties as an adventurer by assisting the people of Gridania. A fine deal, wouldn't you agree? To an outsider's eye, all may seem well with our nation, but not could be further from the truth. The people live in a state of constant apprehension. Why is that? She's pretty. She's got a cool monocle. Ixel, the various gangs of common bandits provide an unending supply of trouble. Trouble compounded by the ever-present threat of Garlean Empire to the north. That is to say nothing of Calamity. Wait, Calamity Ganon? Is he in this game? Even now, the wounds have barely begun to heal. Ah, but I speak of it as if you were there. Forgive me, five years past. Your... your Zor... Eorzea. Eorzea was well nine was well nine laid to waste when a dread worm emerged from emerged from within the lesser moon Dalamud. My god, their words. And rained upon the fire realm. And rained fire upon the realm. It is what people call the calamity. Not Ganon. Scarcely a square balm of twelve's wood was spared in the devastation, yet despite the forest's extensive wounds, not a soul among us can recall precisely how it all happened. We all hallucinating? I'm well aware how improbable that must sound to an outsider. It is improbable, but it's also true. For reasons we can we cannot ill explain. The facts surrounding the calamity are shrouded in a mystery. There are many versions of events events as there are people willing to recount them. I like her mole. Oh I forgot to change the source. The audio source. It amidst the hazy recollections and conflicting accounts, all agree on one thing. The Azoria was saved from certain doom by a band of valiant adventurers. Whatever else we've misremembered, none of us have forgotten the heroes who risked life and limb to sake of their realm. And yet, whenever we try to say their names, the words die upon our lips. Are they erased from history? And whenever we try to call their face to mind, we see naught but silhouettes amidst a blinding glare. Thus have these adventurers come to be known as the Warriors of Light. <clears throat> Pray, do not feel daunted by the deeds of legends. We do not ask that you become another Warrior of Light, only that you do what you can to help assist the people of Gridania. Okay. Great or small, every contribution counts. I trust you, you will play your part. She got a little curly Q at the end of her hair. All that's left, then, is to conclude the business of registration. Here's a quill. Scroll your name right there. Phew, thanks. Oh, and I would appreciate if you use your real name. There is a special place in the seventh hell for those who use amusing aliases. Wait, what?
Please again, bro, huh? And you're quite sure that isn't an amusing alias? Do they crack down on you if you have funky names? Very well, from this moment forward, you are a registered adventurer of Gridania. Nation blessed with the elementals and bounty of the Twelves Wood. The guild expects great things from you. Look at what just arrived. Another god's damn adventurer. Oh, wait, that's him. Look what just arrived. Another goddamn adventurer. Fuck you. I'll fuck you up in my pirate outfit. Don't you start with that. Adventurers are the very solve that Gridania needs. Yeah, you tell him. The elder seeds here herself bade us welcome with open arms. Do you mean to discard her will? Oh, wait. That was her. Whoops. Of course not. Let, lest you forget, it is my sworn duty to uphold the peace. Am I to blame if outsiders bring mistrust upon themselves? You, adventurer, mind that you do not cause any trouble here, or I shall personally cast you out with the realm and into the seventh hell. And you can cast people straight to hell? Hmm. Is that up or is no mind? He meant only to counsel you. Really? That was a counsel? Kind of a dick. Suspicious characters have been rallying the dwells wood over there, you see. And the wood whalers. Yuli cannot afford to take any chances. I don't even know what a conjurer is. I just started the game not even knowing what I picked. As often the way with folk who live in isolation, Gridanians are want mistrust things. What? Is that? Does that make sense? Gridanians are want to mistrust things they do not know well. They don't. They do not well know. Fucking Yoda. Your good self included. Fear not, however, given a catalog of exemplary deeds, no more than a handful of years, the locals will surely warm up to you. Take a couple years, all right. On behalf of my fellow citizens, I welcome you to Gridania. May you come to consider our nation at your own time. Cool. Now then, you may depend on old mother Mion to teach you a few things that every adventurer should know. I have no idea how to pronounce her name still. Sorry, game. Conjurer turns into white mage. It's a healer class. Okay, I'm down with that. But you can have multiple classes. Yeah, that's that's something I really like is the ability is like, um, I'm going to go play this class, even though it's a lower level, but I can play whatever I want. I think that's awesome. I did it. I made some. Oh, that's experience, experience and money. Yes, I'm the best at this game. What are these dots? This concludes the introductory game tutorial. That was the, the entire tutorial? Bruh. You've taken the first step as an adventurer in the city of Gridania. Listen well to the wisdom of Mother Mion and go forth and discover the incredible adventurers that await you. I did it. I leveled up. I leveled up by talking to a lady. I'm good at this game. Sick. Important quests used to tell the story of Azoria and her people are called main scenario quests. Oh, that's kind of cool. Says are easily distinguished. Well, there's another unique icon. Okay, so if it has like a little flamey bit, it's a main story. Press using this icon indicate a test or series of tests are tied to new duties or features you have yet to unlock. Okay. I learned a cure spell. Sick. I'm gonna heal some friends. Close to home. You and Proprietors of the Carlene Canopy wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. I can do that. What do you want me to do? Tell me, Mama. Let us let us begin at the beginning, shall we? Now that you are a former member of the Adventurers Guild, we must be sure you have a firm grasp of the fundamentals of adventuring. To that end, I have three tasks I wish you to perform. What you got? The first task is to visit the Aetherite. This massive crystal stands in the middle of the Aether Ray Plaza, not far from the, from the Carlene Canopy. Was that that big crystal by the dude in the, in the cutscene? I think it was the guy with the witch hat. I don't remember. As a device that enables instantaneous transportation, the Aether Ray plays a key role in the life of ever-wandering adventurer. 
Once you have located the crystal, all you need to do is touch its surface. A member of the Wood Wheelers will be present to offer further instruction. Wood Wheelers? Do they beat the shit out of wood? For your second test, you are to visit the Conjurer's Guild. There's no better place to learn the arts of conjury. Speak with Medell. Ooh, Medella. Medella, and she will explain the benefits of joining the guild. For your third and final task, I would have you visit the markets of the heart of old Grudania's commercial district. There you should find weapons, armor, and the various items that an adventurer might need on her travels. There is, however, more to the market than buying and selling goods. Speak with Arsmontret and listen well to his counsel. A massive merchant can be uncooperative at times. Be sure to offer him one of my famous eel pies. Ugh. Like so many men, he is much more charitable when his stomach is full. Here, I made a batch no longer ago. That's disgusting. An eel pie? Maybe your task, Faith. May Nafika guide your path. Ah, and one more thing. Should you happen to come across any citizen in need, don't be afraid to offer a helping hand. I am certain they will be pleased to meet an adventurer with whom they can confide their woes. Granted, the work they offer is unlikely to be of realm shattering importance. Approve your worth and build reputation, and in time, folk will be more inclined to trust you with matters of moment. Matters of moment? Oh, his spear went up to that little arch thing, and I thought he had a weird archy spear. I just suggest you lend an ear to the smith here in the canopy. The smiths are trusted representatives of the Avengers Guild and an invaluable source of advice for neophytes heroes seeking to attain greatness. Didn't she say goodbye like five times and she's still talking to me? <laughs> kind of... Hey. How you doing? Alright. He moves like a robot. I'm a cat person. I did it. I need to check my mail somehow. Whoa! Whoa, okay. So those are people. Oh, look at this floating thing. <gasps> it's a flying pig rabbit. I love him. Let me see him. No, yes, floating pig rabbit. No! Oh! Wait. No, you're mine. I love him. No! Wait! I love him. This music kind of sounds like, um, concerning Hobbit's music. A crescent moon icon appear to the right of your experience bar whenever you enter a sanctuary. Well, you're especially arrested, but it's kind of like, wow. Okay. All experience earned through... Battle crafting ink. Oh, you get experience through crafting? Dope. And gathering? Double dope. Well, under the benefit of the rested bonus will be increased by 50%. Nice. Cat people are best people? Is that who you play? Your current rested bonus is displayed on top of your experience bar. I don't see it. The dark orange bar shows how much more experience you can be earned before the bonus fades. Oh, it, it's so small that it's probably not registering. If your experience bar is blue, it carries over to the next level. Neat. Inns in the cities, as well as various outposts and settlements, are classified as sanctuaries. To maximize your experience earning potential, make it a habit to always log out. Yeah, that makes sense. I used to be a lizard lady. <gasps> There's a lizard people? Oh, I didn't know there was lizard people. Main menu grants quick and easy access to most of the game's main features. Yeah, that's fine. If you wish to customize the game's various settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game progress is saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Navigation. Pressing M on the keyboard, selecting mini map or selecting map. Yeah, 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 yeah. The location of the quest objectives can be confirmed by clicking on the objective in the duty list. I like the music. Look it! It's a three tailed fox. I love him. There's a chocobo on my mini map. Where am I going? 
I'm guessing that way. Let's go that way. Well, I see a chocobo. Chocobo! Quit! Look at him. He's so happy. He's looking at me. What was that? Look at the purple pig. Oh, he's got an uh, he's got an owie. I'm a healer. Let me heal you. Baby behemoth. I love him. I tried to help. Hello. Look how happy he is. I love that. I love little touches like that. And you, you, ooh, you're pretty. You walk away and then you come up and he's like, Hello! And he looks at you. I love it. Bernadette. Hi. Uh, is searching for adventurers eager to prove their medals? Sure. You only come to Gudani, are you? In search of fame and fortune, perhaps. If you have confidence in your abilities, I would usually speak with Chancellor of the Gods Quiver. You can find him standing vigil before the archer's guild. The creature of the Twelfth Wood have been behaving most unnaturally of late and has fallen to the Gods Quiver to pacify them. She has a cat. Unless they are sorely undermanned. For this reason, I seek to adventurers to supplement their ranks. I am certain you have offer of aid. It will be well received. Okay. Oh, maybe that's where I need to go. A Moogle! Hi! Previous irregular homestone exchange pat. No idea what that is. The Aura? Is that a DLC? A lizard person? Because I went through the character creation and there was no lizard people for me. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, we're good. Hello! Jump. What's this? I'm attuning to it, whatever it is. We will now have Ethernet access to the Archer's Guild. Quick travel throughout the city can be achieved by simply placing your hand upon... Oh, it's a it's a quick travel point. Neat. It's granite. Neat. Okay, it just told me that. And it told me it again. Why do you guys have... Why do you have a chair? On your name. Hello! Oh, you were the quest that the lady told me about. I didn't send you to... Send you to me? Hmm. Well, inexperienced or not, if you wish to prove your worth in the people of Gadania... You are right to come. You do wish to prove yourself, do you not? Sure. Oh. Rewards. Wind shard. A tiny crystalline manifestation of etheric wind energy. I don't know what those are. Using items. Some items can be used, granting various effects such as instant HP restoration, attribute boost, boost and more. Using an item as... Well, using an item is as simple as selecting use from the item's subcommands. All items with recast timers cannot be used again until the timer has expired. Items you use often can be set to hotbar. Yeah. Okay. You is testing adventurers or sending them to slay forest Fungwars. Ordinary, the forest Fungwars that inhabit the central shroud are not more than a nuisance. However, we have received reports that vast clouds of creature spores have rendered parts of the Twelfth Wood impassable and ruined crops besides. We periodically call the Fungar population in order to prevent such occurrences, but the creatures have taken spawning out of season, making it even more difficult to keep their numbers in check. Are they mushrooms? Though this is indeed a troubling development, the God's Quiver has more pressing concerns than all and ill afford to waste time fighting Fungars. If you wish to prove yourself, go to the Central Shroud and exterminate six of the pests. Use caution and approach them one at a time. Lest your adventuring career be cut disappointingly short. Look at this boy. He's adorable. Oh, there's a thing in here. Oh, it just opens. Hey! Of the Archer's Guild wishes you to deliver a sealed message to the markets. Hey, 
adventurer, might you have a moment? I saw you earlier, I think. I'm in need of a trustworthy soul to deliver a missive to Parnell. You can find her in the shaded tower in the midst of the market. Huh? I did not simply go and speak with myself. Well, uh, uh, as I'm sure you have observed, Guardians have a tendency to be rather... Um, I mean, in person they can be... Uh, oh, well, uh, on the prickly side. What are they, cactus? Matters not urgent. Simply hand over the missive the next time you find yourself in the markets. Please, as a favor from one adventurer to another. All right, I'm, I'm doing great at picking up quests. I need to finish them. They're people lizards, not like lizard lizards. Yeah. Yeah, they're people lizards, but I didn't see any people lizards. Or maybe I just didn't recognize that they were people lizards. Lizard sounds cool. Hi! Cat. Hey, Yuri, what's going on, man? Professional Sleep well. Standards. Be polite, be efficient. Have a plan to kill everyone you meet. Was this close to home? Where's that gonna take me? All right, I'm gonna go pick up the quests, I think. Oh, I can sprint. There you go. This is a symbol. Wow, this is lively. And do you, there's one. Oh, you. Della is looking for an adventurer to deliver a forgotten item. Ah, uh, an adventure. Precisely what we needed. But a moment ago, we dispatched our newest recruit, Arator, to inspect Mayor Ket, Keto's amphitheater. I forget it regrettably, the young Mir has more spirit than sense and he charged off without his tools. Suff suffice it to say, we won't be getting any work done. Would you be so kind as to deliver this to him? Wonderful. Seek out Luthic of the Archon Ar Orchard behind the atrium. He should have Arthur's tools. Okay. Can I zoom out? There you go. Uh, ever so slightly. Oh, another quest. I'm just gonna pick up all these quests here, I think. A hunt board. Hunt board? I'm assuming that's like a quest board. Is that it? Looks like a bank. Have a good one, Kubo. I appreciate you popping in as well. I hope you sleep just fine. Oh, I won't be on that long. I'm mostly just kind of hanging out, goofing off. Needs assistance of a kind adventurer. I know all about adventurers. You'll do anything of a word, won't you? Well, then, I want you to make you nearly laugh. What? what was that word? She's no good at stranger, so first you should introduce yourself politely with a bow. Oh, emotes. When words are just not enough, just not enough, emotes can be used to express your feelings towards a person or a situation. First, highlight a target if necessary, then select social from the main menu. Okay. Finally, select the desired emote from the list. In this case, select bow after targeting Unili. I didn't know, no idea how to pronounce most of their names. Emotes can be set to your hotbars. Okay. Well, I gotta go find that person. Butt pets! Get your bones and butt pets. Get your bones and butt pets. I get them. I see them. Oh, I get them. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? I get them. I love you. Get your butt. Hey. Doggy. Look, there's a jade. Chomp, 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 chomp,
Daddy didn't even realize he left the bloody things behind. First day and he forgets his tools. Deaf son needs a kick in the... Ugh. He did it. Wait a minute. Oh! Oh! Oh, those are the symbols saying this is the quest. Okay. I got you. Emotes. Hi. I did it. Hi. I did it. Oh, you can do slash bow. Okay, that makes a little more sense. I did it. Hello. Can I get rid of my name? It's in my way. That seemed to work, but she still looks sad. Hmm, try sharing the joy in your heart with her. That'll prove how nice you are. That was adorable. You were odd. Aw. Hey, kid. I think she's starting to like you. I think she thinks I'm weird. Good. Now you've broken the ice, I bet that if you surprise her and just start dancing, she'll laugh her head off. Nope. She's definitely gonna freak out. Hey, we're dancing. You like my dance? I did it just for you. <laughs> uh, you're a really good dancer, miss. Oh, okay. We're friends now. I look like fun. Maybe I should try it sometime. Yeah, go for it. Thank you. You're pretty good at this. Honestly, I lost her father five years ago during all the fighting. She hasn't laughed much since then. That's sad. So I wanted to... I mean, we're all worried. But a lot of the younglings have been following me around lately, and... Uh, you wouldn't understand. Anyways, thanks for the help. Sick. Experience. Let's go. <laughs> have a good one, Yuri. Sleep well, my dude. Where is a... Okay, so I'm assuming... Those are saying there's a quest that I can... Finish that way. <gasps> Wait, population control. Hold on. These I know are doables, so. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I was right. Giant crystal. Whoa. Okay. Someone zapped a thing. I did it. Let's see a greetings adventure. Oh, we should do a sound. Greetings adventurer. I see you. I see you are faithfully following Mother Moon's instructions. Yeah, I'm good at that. Why do you guys all have creepy masks on? Allow me to offer you a bit. Oh, it's her. I thought the crystal was talking to me. Allow me to offer you a bit of instruction myself. I am the sea of the wood whalers. And I know a thing or two about the Aetherite. Yes, that big crystal right there. Okay, you don't get a special voice. Aetherites are devices that tap into ethereal energies and are primarily used as means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Return and teleport the most common transportation spells. Make direct use of the Aetherites and their connection to the flow of Aether. Those are the spells that were on my bar, I think. And as these devices are found in almost every corner of Azoria, any adventures worthy of the name will wish to seek out and attune herself to each one. Truly few things in this world are so useful to, to an intrepid explorer. But you need not locate them all at once before rushing out into the wilds. I suggest you start with the Aetherites found here in Gridania. Should you wish to learn more about the Aetherite and the transportation magic, I am here to answer your questions. Thank you. You tune with Aether, right? You are now able to use the return spell. Neat. Spell return can be used to instantly jump back to the Aether, right? Set as your home point. Oh, it's like a... It's like a hearthstone. 
Wait, wait. You can do it every 15 minutes? Whoa! That's super cool. Way faster. Only one home point can be set at any time to make it the Aether your new home. Right click on the crystal to bring up the Aetherite menu. Okay. Um. I'm going to go this way. Ah! Okay, we're fine. Because there's a, there's a population control thing over here. It's weird, I'm used to like playing WoW or... Whoa! He's got a spicy boy. Like, I keep wanting to like buff myself somehow. Rom Vacuous? Did he... Did he name that? Or is that just a reference to Bloodborne that the game put in? Okay. I guess... It is a gate I go through. The Black Shroud Central... Ah! Achievements! Congratulations, you've earned yourself an achievement! Okay. Achievements are earned by reaching certain milestones during your adventure in Azoria. Or Eorzea. There are achievements for just about everything, from leveling classes and covering locations to defeating enemies and earning guild. There are also rewards granted upon attaining certain achievements. Some of these include rare weapons, armor, others include titles, which you can be added to your display, aimed to showcase your greatness. Neat. How do I hide? Uh... What's your character? Uh... Display name. Do not display my name. Yes! Right click on the target, switch to attack mode, and ready auto attack. Approach and face the target to start the battle. Two rotating arrows will appear above the target you are attacking. Two arrows. Two rotating arrows. Okay. Various actions such as spells and weapon skills can be performed by clicking the icons located in the hotbar at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, yeah. Most actions require magic points. Is that what the 400 is? Yep. Where is my magic bar? Right there. I have 10,000 magic? Oh my god. Disciples of magic and disciples of war who specialize in ranged attacks such as archers are best suited fighting their targets from a distance. Range and radius of an action can be also confirmed in the help window. Okay. Does it want me to fight? I don't want to fight these guys. They seem friendly. There's a red thing over there, though. Whoa. Level 43? Fuck that. There's the smith. The lady said go talk to the smith. This population control. I'm assuming that's where my uh, fungers or whatever they are. Aha! They're level three. I'm level one, dude. Okay. Will the highlight range change if I can cast at them? Okay. Oh, I can move and do it? That's cool. That's fucking cool. Wait. Oh, that's so fucking... Oh, interrupted. I lied. I thought I could move. Okay, this thing's fucking me up. A free company invite. I don't know what that is. In the event, multiple solo players. In the event, multiple solo players attack the same target. The player who attacked first will always receive. She's flying. Hundred Yeah. Okay. Finding items. An item you have equipped is now bound. It can no longer be traded or put up for sale. Most items can be sold and traded really before they are used in battle. Crafting or gathering. This is true regardless of whether or not. They've been equipped. However, performing one of these three actions after equipping a new piece of gear will bind them to you. 
Okay. Three companies are independent player operated organizations, guilds. Not, un not unlike guilds. While there are no restrictions on who may join a company, players cannot belong to more than one free company at a time. Okay. Get him. Get him. I should probably be at max range. Get him. Ground squirrels are adorable. Oh, I, I killed him. Can I not loot them? Throwing rocks. I got a crit. Yeah, let's go. Let's chain. What was that? Chain bonus. Oh, neat. Super cool. But I got a good dude. Why, why didn't it give me a chain bonus on that last one? I leveled up. Okay, I don't quite understand the chain bonuses, I guess. Chain number five. Does it just get triggered and then you just have like a minute to do- Whoa, that tree's moving! There's an evil ant. Whoa, that's cool. This area actually has a lot of higher level stuff. They're all like neutral. Neat. I hope they're neutral. What is this? Level 10. He's on my mind. Level 8. Mother Scorned. There's a timer. Are they like... World or community quests? Wow. There's a lot to this game. Okay, I want to go get this crystal, I think. Is there fall damage? Ooh. Alright, nothing attack me, please. I get back up here. Yes. Let's go touch this crystal. Doom Slayer Death. Oh, I entered the sanctuary. Neat. Hello. Delivery Moogle. By learning a spell teleport, you are now able to travel instantly between etherites to which you are attuned. Access to the teleportation menu by selecting teleport in the main menu. Unlike other spells, teleport does not require MP to cast and instead uses a type of naturally regenerating spiritual enemy. A small field of guilt. Oh, F that. Must be paid to the keepers of the etherite. Registering as the etherite. As a favorite destination will reduce the amount of guilt. Oh. So. Dang, there's a lot of different teleport things. Should I have just... Ugh, I don't like the big spider thing. Yuck. I wonder if I should just be using my return button. Because it's like 15 minutes, right? It's like nothing. Yuck. I don't like that thing. That thing is yucky. Oh shit! Giant Scorpiman. Oh no. No, no. Nope. He's a level 10. I'm gonna get murdered. Nope. Leave me alone. Okay. 
Are we fine? Yeah. Kill myself. Still not full. Am I full? Yes. Honoria. Okay, so can I go turn this in? Deliver a toolbox. Deliver a message. Report to someone. Visit the Conjurer's Guild. I still need to do that. It's a pupper! Oh! I love... Can I pet? Yes! Yeah, good boy! I should bind that to a button. That is not the equal sign. What is that? Is someone casting a spell and that happens? Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Hello. Summoning bell. Retainers. Summoning bells are used to call forth any retainers you have in your employ. Retainers are helpful NPCs who can be hired by players to maintain items and kill, as well as place goods up for sale in the markets. Once you have been given approval to hire retainers, speak with... That's a name? Ridewib. And something. Okay, whatever. That's a big dude. Yeah, his boots and his underwear. Greetings, madam. Might you be looking to secure the services of a retainer? Not really. Some quests will require you to deliver items. If an NPC requires an item, an item request window will appear. Drag the items from your inventory of the, for the armory chest in the item request window and click hand over to complete the transaction. Oh, here you go. Oh, that's cool. That's nice that that made that easier. What's this? A missive from, from my boss, you say? Whatever could it be about? Let me see now. Hmm. She wants to know about the available stock of potions in the markets. Hardly a matter that warrants a letter, much less hiring a courier. Why she shouldn't... Why could she not ask the question in person? <sighs> I sense the adventurers from beyond the borders find Redonians somewhat difficult to deal with. This guy is going hard. Holy crap, he's got fans. He's like actually dancing. That's amazing. Are we truly so devoid of warmth? If we mistrust outsiders, it's only because so many of them have brought cares to the twelve wood and such sins as theirs are not so soon forgotten. Yet, I suppose we might endeavor to be a little less cold. Sweet. Did it. Oh my god, there's a million quests around here. Alright, this is... I'm gonna... I'm gonna get myself... Did you just... It's a melon. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> it just falls apart. I love it. What's this button do? Okay. Hello. Uh, who wants a fledging adventure to deal with squirrel problem? I can do that. I just fought, saw a bunch of squirrels. Oh, I first faced an adventurer in my name. The very manner of person I had wished to meet. The Lance's Guild is looking for someone to track down and exterminate half a dozen squirrels. The Infernal Birds have been squeezing in under our floorboards every year for the past several moons and gnawing away at the support pillars. They have yet to inflict any serious structural damage, thanks to the Builder, but I hesitate to bring such a trifling matter before the Wood Wheelers or the Guard's Quiver. Hence, my delight at your timely arrival. By an adventurer, 
who could not dispatch such a wonderland nuisance as not worthy of the name. Not in Gridania, at any rate. And you know what becomes of incapable adventurers? Ah, but perhaps the best you do not. The squirrels of which I spoke can be found at the central shroud. Return to me once you have disposed of them, assuming the task is not beyond you. For your sake, I surely hope not. You're kind of a dick. What are these pins? There's a achievement exchange. What's that? Is that like if you get an achievement, you have to go turn it in? Oh, we're gonna go to the preserving the past first. Oh, there's a turn in over there. Damn it. Hello, Artor. Tell me a thing. Right, I'm terribly be busy right now. I would thank you not to bother me. I'm a carpenter of the prestigious Oak Atrium, and I have repairs to. Here's your stupid thing. Uh, where did I put my- Oh god, I- I take it here from the guild too then. What's that? Adela said you. With my tools? Ah, uh, ah uh, yes, I was actually just about to go and uh, uh, um, this is so embarrassing. My apologies, it's just, I'm so focused on the task at hand. You know, it's a miracle with the amphitheater might even survive the calamity. It was the Commoner's Guild that saved it, moving it piece by piece and rebuilding it. Holy crap. When I saw what they had done for Gridani, I knew that I wanted to be. But God's word, they told me my first task was to come here. Anyway, thank you for bringing my tools. You're new to the old atrium tool, right? Well, let's both work hard for the good of the guild, eh? Oh, may the elementals watch over you and keep you safe. Thanks, buddy. Simkin! I love it. Are you a player? I don't think you're a player. He, uh, deliver a message. Yo there, adventurer! Would you deliver a message for me? My superior Millicent is stationed outside of Terry of Fenny. She's doubtless... Doubtless busy, but I'm past due to be relieved. Long past due, truth be told. However, I can simply abandon my post. This tree? Speak to her for me, would you? But who's your words widely? She can have a bit of a temper. Alright. Seeing the caretaker, blah, needs an adventure helper tidy up. Greetings, traveler. Come to see me, Kato's famed everything, have you? I'm a strange caretaker of the finest centerpiece of Gridania culture, and I feel I must need your trouble for your assistance. You see, it is not only well-meaning women like yourself who are drawn to this place. The sylphs often visit the dead of night, long after citizens have gone to bed. We have no particular objection to the presence, and they seem grateful for the accommodation. So much so, in fact, last night they left us a token of their appreciation. In the form of vegetables. A lot of vegetables. Their generosity is more than welcome, of course, but their sheer quantity of things makes gathering them all something of a chore. And it's not as if I don't have enough to do already. In short, I'd be most grateful for any help you could give me. On some quests, you will encounter objects which will you can interact with. Okay, right clicking. That's fine. I got this. Pick up your vegetables. When? A two. You couldn't pick up six vegetables? I was like, did this in 30 seconds. That's mine. Get away. Oh. I'm missing one. There it is. Has he got a box following him? He's got a box. Okay. All the pets and stuff in this game are silly and they're making me laugh. Can you jump over this? Can you jump over this? There we go. Well done, friend. Me, Kettle herself, would sing your praise. 
She knew well the power of art, how it could strengthen the soul of a nation and preserve its history for future generations. This ambassador was her greatest gift to Gradania. And it was her wish that all folks use it freely, not only for performance festivals, but as a place to share memories and make new ones. I wonder if the sylphs come here to do just that. That said, I do wish they would find other ways to express their gratitude. We have no need of vegetables here, but may have that Carlin Canopy can make use of them. Anyway, thanks to the elementals for bringing you here today. Goodbye. Stout Elm. Malane. Tell me your things. Give me your quests. Uh, frantically busy student. You there! You an adventurer, yes? Good! I have a task for you. Take yourself over to the Conjurer's Guild and speak with my student, Brea. She has had her hands full of preparing the auguries and would likely welcome your assistance. In her excitement as become a conjurer, I feel my young disciple is pushing herself beyond the limits of her endurance. Enthusiasm is all well and good, but it would not. But I would not do to have an initiate collapse from exhaustion. Okay, so I'm a conjurer. So I'm a conjurer, and that means we're gonna be friends. Saman? Samayan? Uh pick up scattered rose hips. That's a rose hip. Stop right there! Not another step. I apologize if you have a starter deal, but please be careful the ground with us converting rose hips. You see, my seed pouch has grown so threadbare that I finally split open. Unbeknown to myself, and scattering Aceman rose hips all along this road. Oh, good madam, if you would help me gather them, I'd be ever so grateful. Thank you, your kindness is truly a blessing from the elementals. I like how you don't even get a chance to say no. The rose hips should be lying on the road between here and Great Loom Growery. Remember to tread lightly, as you crush them underfoot. How many do I need? Six. Don't step on him! You're stepping on him! I don't actually know if I can step on him, so I'm, I'm just picking him up when I'm far away. Oh, friend. Oh, shit. I'm not going to be able to get back up there easily, am I? Botanist name needs an adventurer to make a delivery on his behalf. Sure. God's demon, another adventurer. You're like the flies on, on muck. Whatever Gridani did to deserve such a plague, I don't know. <sighs> I suppose times are changing and they keep telling me I should. And perhaps you might be. Oh, God, help me just... Just take this ace of me, Rose of Wildo of Silly Fane, will you? Well, what are you still standing there for? Go and deliver the Palladi Rose. What a douche. Shit. How do we get back up there? Over there? Oh! Touch the crystal. Boop. Damn it, I'm wasting my sprint though. Mom! And I'm far away from level up. Bummer. Here you go. What, madam? Pray tell you I've recovered all the whole ships to bed and not one to the traveler's boot. I already forgot your voice. Here you go. Blessings be upon you. I fear this path will be lined with roses next year. Not that such a wondrous sight would be wholly objectionable, but hey, see, I mean, are real suited for this location. As a botanist, it's my responsibility to see how Gridania's plants grow and thrive in the most ideal conditions. A place for every seed and every seed in its place, you might say. It was my gracious. It was most gracious of you to aid me in my time of need. I pray the elementals extend you the same kindness. Thank you. Now what? I'm gonna go this way. And then down here.
new Gridania. Does that mean that there's a gate here? Maybe? No? But there's a person. Well, do. Hello. Welcome, adventurer, to the Conjurer's Guild. Here we commune with the elementals and heed their guidance. Yet I must confess the elementals did not whisper of your coming. Here go. We did indeed request that Zemi arose from the afterworld, but you should bring it to us in his stead means something wonderful has happened. Elthred has long held a grudge against the many adventurers who have passed through Gridania's gates. His beloved flowers are renowned for the beauty you see, and they were once so highly coveted by the Uldan collectors, they were picked nigh to exception by fortune-seeking foreigners. Yet, as if it is peace where we desire, we must all learn to look beyond mistrust born of the past and overcome our prejudices. So has the Elder said, Tizir taught us, and so do we live. I doubt it was easy for Etheret to entrust this Azimian rose to you, but when he hears he received it, we'll come to know that not all outsiders are deserving of scorn. Truly, it is by the will of the elementals that you've come to us this day. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. Sweet. Shard. Touch all the things. Whoa. Okay. Just popped them right in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this and see where it's gonna take me. Am I still in a town? I think I'm... Oh, so this is where the... Not the rabbits. The squirrels are. Wait. Wait. Are they not? Okay. Yes, not. Hunt board. Okay, I gotta... I gotta go check that out, see what that does. On board. Or use regular mark bills. Thousand gill. Whoa. No. I don't know what those guys are. Serpent Mage. There's a Zeppelin thing. Oh. Okay, so maybe I'll go this way. I was already here. Although there was a quest. Wait, what? Oh, you. I'd right as a flint. I want right as a fledging adventurer resumed to address Boss Mantra, master of the markets. You think you can stroll in here, bold as you please, and demand my harder knowledge? Ah, a merchant does not for naught, especially when dealing with would-be heroes. If not, that person was in a rooster outfit. What the fuck? If on the other hand, you had some tasty morsel my you could in my favor, then I might have considered your request. Come on, this whole encounter reeks of Mion's handiwork, and more specifically her baking. Don't look so surprised, lass. I smell the ideal pile of yours. Mal, I'm away. Hand it over. All right. Enjoy. Third face. Hmm, that flaggy cross just divine. Well, very well. I'm a man of my word. Pay close attention, for I shall only explain this once. It's why an adventurer need look no further than the rosewood and ebony stalls. Both are but a short shore from here where we stand. If you mean to do battle, you best be prepared with a quality set of weapons and armor. Such goods at the province of the Rosewood Stalls directly south of here. 
You'll be pleased to learn that the merchants of Gridani are exceedingly particular when it comes to craftsmanship, so you needn't fear defective straps and the like. If it is potions and paraphernalia you seek, head north of the ebony stalls. The shelves there are lavishly stocked by widely traveled Gul'dan merchants, and may truly say, may and I may truly say that I have seen things amongst their myriad wares that I scan, scarce knew existed. Do you follow me thus far? The first step to any purchase is to select the stalls that meet your needs, and you may concern yourself with the price and profit. There is little more I can reach you with mere words. Go peruse the stalls and see for yourself what wares they offer. There's no substitute for a first-hand experience after all, and I'm weary of talking, unless you have another eel pie. That's kind of a douche. Uh... Okay. Hmm, I dig in my previous explanation did not suffice your safe curiosity very well. If you wish to know more of the markets, I shall give you a practice education free of charge. As master of the markets, I entertain many requests. This order is from the whalers, for example. That I delegate the fulfillment to my hirelings. That I might tend to such tasks as I alone am capable of performing. For your personal betterment, I shall delegate the fulfillment of this particular request to you. I bid you to search the stalls for a bone spearhead, a pot of beer's wax oil, and a length of bramblewood amber weed rope, and deliver them to Blair of the Blancers Guild. There is much more and more to be found in these stalls. If you have the dedication to seek it, and then coin to pronounce procure it. However, as my representative, you need only to offer my name as payment. None will deny me. In fact, many will be all too eager to part with their wares. So numerous are the depths I am owed. Really, can I just walk around saying you brought me somewhere? Because that sounds like the ideal situation. A fine proposition, is it not? I am spared a simple task, and you gain priceless mercantile experience. Why, I should rightly charge you for such an opportunity. But do not worry, I am a man of my word, and the terms will be stand. Deliver the goods of Blair, and she may even see fit to reward you. Hey. Okay. Oh, there's a... Hello. Let me talk to you. Sorry, last we ain't open yet. Oh, oh, person as well, uh, the... Was this any one a bone spearhead? Uh, here, take it. It's a, it's a, until that bastard was square. Yeah, no one likes this guy. Welcome, welcome! At the behest of good master parsman, you see? What do we owe the pleasure of your company today, my lady? May I take this opportunity to say that it is an honor and privilege to serve you? Ah, oh, but you must have your beeswax oil without delay. Yes, yes, feel free to take as much as you would require. And... You will, of course, inform Master Blair that I was um, only happy to accommodate his needs, yes? Don't like this, man. Why is there... I thought there was... Th okay, the third one's over here. Oh, she's got pretty hair. Hello. You got discerning eyes, miss? The craft some shit, truly really something, ain't it? Perfect for securing any manner of... Arsimantra... Gods, if I ever hear that bloody name again, it'll be too soon. Ah, there, I was thinking I might take a guilt. Might take a guilt today. Here, take the damn bramblebee rope and bugger off. Wow. Yep, no one likes this dude. Wait, am I not done? Am I not done? Nappa dirty. Look at this little guy. <gasps> I want... Look at him! There, now you can see him. I love him. Pet. Oh boy, his name's Nutkin. Materia Master? Wait, what? Sick. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Holy crap. Touch this crystal shard. Oh, you made a noise that scared me.
What is it? Is that just the symbol for traitors? It looks like a refresh symbol. What's this all about? Gomez has said he needs his break. But now with the snivel a little, she's... She's crying for the relief at a time like this. Has I already forgotten how short-handed we are since the business with the exil the other day? And sending a bloody unknown venture that was bleating bleating no less. The civil servant saw things that are only things only of his own woes, rubbing his sore souls while welcoming all manner of guild grab adventurers into our holy wood. Useless bloody fool. Makes me blood boil, he does. Ah, but it is not you I should be given a peace of mind to. You seem a decent enough sort considering. Still, I understand that it is our duty to keep an eye on every stranger that passes through these parts. Any road I presume lend in here to my subordinate, damn fool that he is, go on then and stay out of trouble. Thank you. Okay. The map is a wee bit confusing. Oh, it's a blue version of the Eevee thing. I do like that I can move it around, though. I thought I tried to go this way and it didn't let me. <gasps> oh, I can run. on those from the map? No, it's a bummer. This guy's name is Biddy. Let me in, please. Thank you. Oh, it's Brea. I need to talk to you. Yes, yes, I am Brea. And I am also woefully, but... Oh, you say Lady Melane? Yourself asked you to assist me? In that case, I suppose you might lend a hand, especially as mine appears to be shaking. Oh, only very sadly. Not that it's anything to worry about. Ner nervous energy. Um... I would be exceedingly grateful if you would take this azimia rose oil and reveal the sensors. They are to the required attention. Please have a care not to disturb the conjurers amid their meditations. You must be quiet and as I'm sure as soon as possible. Is there actually walking? Key items can be used to on targets by ri first right-clicking on the target and then right-clicking on the appropriate icon. Okay. Uh... Would you be, by chance, be comfortable around Balkin? If so, if you didn't need your assistance. You see, I was preparing for the forthcoming auguries when I found to my great embarrassment that we lack a prerequisite quantity of scarlet oil. If it is not too much to ask, I would be most grateful if you could resupply us in time for the ceremony. Scarlet oil can be harvested from ladybugs, such as those found near the main socks. Six of the Balkin should yield the, unne the necessary amount. I return to me as soon as you have it. Sick. I gotta go kill some squirrels and ladybugs now. Uh. Use. There we go. Whoosh. Whoosh. Thanks, I must admit that it would be rather impressed by all things when you follow my instructions. I had always considered his adventures mean and coos and rowdy lot, but I see you are capable of courtesy as well. Lady Melaine has a fine eye of character. You should feel honored that she chose you for this task. Oh, I have to choose one. Neat. We're about to be level 4. Achievement unlocked, Storyteller. Neat. Whoosh. There's a crap ton of these teleports. I should just use them. All right. Lancer's Guild. Shit. 
I don't have it yet. Fine. I'll just run there. I really like the music. Sixty seconds. Cool down, okay. Very playful. I got an achievement. Is it you? Hello there, young one. How very kind of you to offer a daughter an old man like me a bit of company. Tell me, do you like tales? I do like a good tale. Especially true ones told by them as lived it. You have any of your own to share? I'd be all ears. Uh... That chocobo head. What is this stuff? I don't know what that is. Lancer is uh, one of the classes, right? Also, I think they're called jobs in this game. Does it show where my buffs are? Oh, snap. Okay. I can't move. Oh, crap. It was saying something. That's why I couldn't move. Jeez, that was weird. Hello. What business have you with me, adventure? Hmm, have you come upon the banning of master? Blah, 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 blah. Here you go. Can I just click on them? No. So soon? I am impressed. I placed my order only a short time ago. Yet you will hear all the items are requested. Truly, Master Blah 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 is every bit of his resources, as I say. You are fortunate to work with such a man. You would do well to mold yourself in his image if you have any specialties of a merchant. Oh, he's kind of a dick. Cool. Done. Now what? I don't know how to go back to the, um... Outside area. Oh, damn it. They want me to go all the way over there again. Okay. They want me to go to the Conjurer's Guild at some point. Oops. Where's this gonna take me? Okay, I can turn in the population control, at least. Central Shroud, I think that's where I need to go. Chansaloop. Well, well, the fledgling adventure returns, and none of the words for well, look at it. Ah, you might be us. Use to the he might be of use to the nation. On behalf of Godania, thank you. I can get a hat. Or an eye patch. Oh. There's a limit. Prince of Minton. Finally I can get one. Prince of Minton third optional arrow by the dog. Exchangeable for gill. 
Control. Control key display high quality item details. Alt key hide item details. Okay, so I'm not wearing a hat, so I'm gonna get this. I learned arrow action. Since the armory system in Final Fantasy allows you to change your class or job, let me move this by simply changing the weapon or tool in your main hand. Oh, it is recommended that you always have a several sets of gear on hand. However, gear can take up a lot of tremendous amount of space in one's inventory, which is why all adventurers carry an armory chest. Neat. All gear purchased, crafted, or found is automatically stored in this chest, leaving your inventory filled free with other items such as potions, crafting materials, and food. Awesome, good job, game. Here in the armory chest is a categorized and sorted by type and can be equipped or discarded directly from the chest interface. The armory chest can be accessed at any time by selecting the character from the main menu followed by armory chest or press control I or is that L? Character. Armory chest. Try on. How do I equip it? Oh. Level 5? God damn it. Now I'm gonna find something better. Before I use that. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Right there. Whoosh. Guild at some point, but I'll do that in a minute. Also, still need to find a mailbox or something. important stuff yet. Okay, so there's smiths everywhere, and the lady kind of alluded that I should talk to them, so White Wolf Gate Guard, no. That was the thing that was blocked off, right? Sweet, okay. Didn't mean to do that, but it works out in my favor. What is this? Looks like a net. Wait. There you are. You seek the secrets of Conjurer, adventurer? And search no longer, for you have found your way to the Conjurer's Guild. It is Mion's request that you have come, and allow me to provide you with an overview of what it is to be a Conjurer. Conjurer is the art of healing and purification. Its practitioners harness the power of nature that they might be bring about change in the form of spells. Primitive magics, primitive magics such as the one wrought by the individuals known as mages, meaning those with the ability to manipulate Aether, has existed since the dawn of time. It was not until some five centuries ago that the contrary emerged from the shapeless agglomeration of spells and charms, an event that led to the founding of Gridania. In those dark days, the elementals would not suffer man's presence in the Twelve's Wood, forcing her forebears to make their homes beneath the earth in the great subterranean city of Gilmora. But their desire to settle in the Twisted Wood continued to burn fiercely. Time and again, they sought to carry the elementals' favor. Unlike men and other creatures bound to temples of flesh, the elementals are beings of pure ether. 
recognize this, the mazes of Eld resent that their talents of etheric manipulation might allow them to commune with these theretofore enigmatic entities. It took five long decades, but our forebears finally succeeded. They reward the elementals' permission to dwell in the Dwell's Wood. So, it was with that nation of Gridani was born. Since that time, the elementals have taught us to live as one with nature, speaking to all Grindanians through the heroes. Those mages were able to commune with them. And for their intimacy with the elementals, the heroes would go on to attain greater mastery over the forces of nature. Thus did they conceive the art of conjuring. I hope this has helped you gain greater understanding of the Conjurer's Guild. Should you wish to delve further into the mysteries of conjuring, then I urge you to consider joining our ranks. I can begin your initiation whenever you desire. Call upon me whenever you are near to take the first step. Yes. Is your mind made up? Are you ready to join the Conjurer's Guild? Yes. That is, that is well. I shall introduce you to the Guild Master, Brother Isumiyan. Brother Isumiyan presides over the Conjurer's Guild, even as he serves the nation as a hero. You will find him in the meditation area within. Go to him and make known your desire to join the Guild. Okay. Hello. Greetings, adventurer. I'm told you be wish to become a conjurer. Still, great vein. You have horns. I am brother Iyumisa, Isumiyan, master of this guild. You have dead eyes, and I don't like it. Before you are formally accepted into our ranks, I would impart you to the principles of conjurer. Pray attend me well. Conjure is an arcane art that takes life and the living of its sports to mean. Its primary purpose is the salving of hurts and the granting of protection. Adventurers such as yourself will stand upon the front lines of battle. Owing to this, you are likely you are like to find yourself in many situations where a capacity for healing would be adv advantageous. Mind you, there is more to conjure than that. By harnessing the power of earth, wind, and water, conjurer is also capable of weaving spells that wreak havoc. In terms of sheer destructive power, Conjury may pale in comparison to Thamatagri, but in capacity to defend one against aggression more than com compensates for their relative shortcoming. In mastery healing and purification, not only will you be able to mend wounds and purge afflictions, you will also be able to breathe life back into the fallen. More than simply healers, yet not true dealers of destruction, Conjurers realize their full potential when they employ the powers and support of others. This, my dear adventurer, is what it means to be one of us. Hmm. Mayhap that was too much to grasp on a single hearing. But worry not, for the meaning of my words will become clear to you in due time. Hey, you will come to understand this country is not the sole province of the conjurer. Should you wish to talk or path, I must need I must needs ask that you solemnly vow to embrace nature, to heed the will of the elementals and the twelves would alike. Can you make this vow? Sure. I knew your answer ere your lips had parted. And I am no less pleased to hear it. By the power vested in me, I hope I name you member of the Conjurer's Guild. That was easy. And so to work, listen well. Now, for I would sign you your first task as a Conjurer of still great fame. Just beyond the city gates, you will encounter squirrels, ladybugs, and fungwares. I would have you slay three of each. Oh, sick. Lest you wouldn't wonder why how I so cruelly ordered the taking of life. Know that things are not as they once were, a consequence of the calamity. And I may add, though not part of their own, these creatures have become a burden to the Twelfth Wood, a burden it cannot well bear. As a conjurer, it is your duty to carry out the well will of the forest, and by employing your powers in so doing so, you will come to learn something of your art. Oh, now, Faith, and perform the first task of the name of the Elementals. Yes, I'm glad I did this. Instead of finding my way to the freaking area that I've been looking for. What are these dots? Oh, inventory. My god, that was loud. Okay, where do I want to go? I need to... I don't... Leather Worker's Guild. I don't know how to get back to the area. There's a red arrow. Maybe I go there. I'm gonna go to the other workers guild. I 
adjoining area. Maybe I need to go to the North Shroud. Because this is going to take me back to that area that I was just at, isn't it? Okay. I'm very confused. Okay, what if I go this way? Because I think I, I went down this way, and then it took me to the Conjurer's Guild. The map is a bit confusing. Central Shroud, let's go there. Oh, there's one closer. Gatekeeper. Is there... Oh. Maybe I have to go this way because there's a gatekeeper there. And I don't know if I can get beyond it. Alright, so I'll go here because... There's an Adventurer's Guild thing. As well as... Oh, this is the beginning area. Where's the smith? There you are. Greetings, I'm one of the smiths, a stoker of fires and forger of futures. A dedicated men of the Adventurers Guild, I've been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers. I see, I see you've been recently taken up the Adventurers Mantle. The possibility stretching out before you must positively be positively daunting. <laughs> In the Adventurers Guild, we see new adventurers as fledgling heroes. You are a champion of tomorrow, our nascent stars of limitless potential. My fellow smiths and I are here to provide you with guidance, but the guild also enlists a cater of veteran adventurers who will be happy to share with you their accumulated wisdom. You can recognize these helpful men and women by their title of mentor. Mentors stand ready to advise you on any aspect of adventuring. They have hundreds of quests under their belts and will likely have a solution for whatever dilemma might be causing you trouble. A mentor may even offer you a company you on your adventurers. So that's kind of cool. I highly recommend that you take advantage of mentor's aid to enrich your experience in Eorzea. Pray do not hesitate to ask me if you would like to know more. The new adventurer status is applied to all players who have recently begun their adventure. Among Eorzea's arriving population, there are seasoned players known as mentors who have taken it upon themselves to assist new players. That's fucking cool! When a new adventurer and a mentor form a party, they both receive a bonus to experience points earned. Upon invita invitation by a mentor, new adventurers also gaining access to the Novice Network, an exclusive chat channel where they can consult with the mentors and share their experience with their beginning players. That is awesome. What will you do? Nothing. That's real cool. I'm glad they have something like that. Hello, friend. The conquering hero returns. You have completed my little task, Cetra. The three locations you visit will feature prominently in your life as an adventurer. It is best you grow familiar with them as soon as possible. And you took the time to listen to the woes of the citizenry. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to lend your talents to one and all, no matter how trivial the matter may seem. I am thankful that you are obligating, sort. Faith, it is that adventurers like you will win the hearts of the locals and pave the way for those who will follow. I feel Gridaniel can rely on you, your aid, and as the struggles to come. Sick. Talk to her again. Send an adventurer to the instruction. Faith, have you visited the Banaka at your white wanderlings? It is a training ground found just outside the city where the soldiers of the Order of the Twin Adder drill them swordplay in their martial matters. I mention this because an acquaintance of mine, a gentleman by the name of Galfred, is an instructor there, and I think he might be of use to him. Go and introduce yourself and find out if there's anything you can do to help. Mind you, do not stray far from the path that dwells with no place for Mary strolls throughout this underbrush. Okay. Oh. Friends. I was looking for an inexperienced young soul to make a delivery on her behalf. Sure. Hey girl, you seem unoccupied. You know the bannock I trust? Fancy taking a bed of basic provisions over there for me? It's not too heavy, mostly filled with dried meats and other bland rations. It's a straightforward job that I do with a smile and a spring in my step. 
If I were 10 years younger, less my taste have matured, evolved, advanced to a higher level, you might say. But it's perfect little task for someone fresh-faced like you. Worry not, you'll receive appropriate conversation upon delivery, which you'll keep with my blessing. Nope. Uh, return iron sample I accidentally took from... Sure. This is I might have mistaken this metal bit for a nut while I was pouring sir for food in the forest. Despair snap or misplaced my some sorry soul from the tree speaks tables, I suspect. It was in the vague vicinity that I amassed the majority of my best typical marshals. Well I've already had a hefty helping of these dear nuts, so I won't be walking walking for a while. Might it be able to trouble you the tree speaks tables my sped? Prior to parting, pray speak to Barnabonda of the Yellow Serpent Gate. Listen well to his direction, or you'll be liable to get lost. Okay. That's running to the beginning. But there is a quest over here, so I guess we'll go there. I don't think this is where I wanted to go. Shit. Essential oil. Oh, squirrels. Ladybugs. Found everything. What is this? Deals wind damage with a potency of 50. Same cast time, but it has a damage over time. It's instant cast. Oh, okay. The recast time was the same. Got it. Cool. Oh, murder and shit now. Oops, squirrel just on top of me. Just smack him. There you go. Obtain Scarlet Oil. Neat. ground squirrels anymore. Oh wait, I might. Because I have one to kill six and then one to kill three. Okay, it's not counting anymore. Oh, there it is. I'm glad it marks them. I like the little animations of the spells too. It's kind of neat. What the fuck? Oh. I heard a horn and a giant thing showed up next to me and thought I was going to get murdered. I'm not getting... What is that thing? That bonus. That I got earlier. Oh, I can finish that one. Okay, so I need to find the Fungars. There's one. Oh. 
red thing, I thought that would go away. I don't know what those little symbols are on my mini-map either. Bonk. It is a tree end. Ow. Oh, dude, he's murdering a bunch of dudes. Oh, my God. I don't think I need to fight these anymore. Let's go turn in. Is that guy a higher level? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of quests to turn in. Oh, no, those aren't turn in. Training recruits. Oh, the adventure is what you seek. Look no further. Oh, it's a dude. Instructor Meyerstroll needs a volunteer to bring him some bog yards and shells for the recruits to practice on. Find yards in the river south of here. Once you've pried the chiropractors from the four of these creatures, take them to the instructor. Those things are the spider things. A delivery, eh? I assume you weren't followed. Here you go. Yes, this is what I requested. Strange, I was expecting someone with rather more experience. I usually balk at such outrageous payments prior to the delivery. Honestly, I'm amazed you made it this far. These woods are teeming with down and olies and other nasties. Ready to make quick meal of the unprepared. I commend your bravery and thank you for the trouble. Here, take the remainder of the fee. I should be very happy to employ you at... Wait, did you see that? It looked like an anoli. Quickly, go before you bring it here and get us all killed. What the fuck? I can't use these. Now I can. Hell oh, yeah. Okay, let's put those on. Um, armory. Quick, yes. And I have some pants. Ah, <gasps> a ring. Heck yeah, dude. Wait. Uh. Seven defense. Is there a way to... Compare? Intelligence plus one. Oh, is there uh, race specific ones? Because this says Fitz Mikoti, whatever. Seven defense, 15 magic defense, same thing, but this one has the intelligence, so I guess we'll take it. Soldier of the Manic wants you to track down some initiates that failed to pair for training. Ah, perfect timing. I was just looking for a likely last to track down some twin adder initiates. Three of newish recruits have failed to report for training. Exhausted from a month of solid drills, I expect. Considering your current physical state, I rather doubt they've been wandered far, hmm? Oh, guns, please don't mention wild beasts or blood. They're fine, I'm certain of it. Seek out my, my wayward troops and tell them to report back to me on the double. Sure. Hello. Greetings, Faith Gainsborough. The only sentient word to expect you. My name is Galfred, and I am responsible for training our twin adder recruits. I thank you for volunteering your assistance. The Twelve's Wood is much charged since the calamitous arrival of the Seventh Umbral Era five years ago. The power of the elementals wanes and harmony of force gives way to chaos. A great abundance of life has been lost and the strong run rampant, stifling the weak and new sprung. Though it may not appear so to the eyes of the outsider, the Twelve's Wood is ailing. It's once rich variety of fading memory. But the citizens look right on you. The restoration of the forest. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to click. Listen to their requests and do all that you can. May the elementals bless your endeavors, Faith. I already have... Okay, that's less defense and magic. Sa that one has mind. What's mind? Uh... Attributes. Mind. Effects healing magic potency. All those effects that magic attack potency is real healer. Uh, I want the mind.
Oh, they were they were boots anyways. Okay, we're fine. Want you to inspect the equipment and thereby gauge your readiness. I see you are eager to lend a hand, Faith. That is well, but I cannot in good conscience send you to the forest until I have established that your equipment is equal to the task. It bears repeating that in the five years since the dawn of the seventh um umbral era, many of the twelve woods creatures have transformed into vicious, bloodthirsty monsters. Venturing to the forest without the proper gear is a t tantamount to suicide. I suggest you take time to evaluate your equipment. Once you deem your armor to be a sufficient quality, present yourself to me for inspection. Equip head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear and item 5 from above before I reach. Okay. Cool. You can view equipment, blah, blah, blah. I learned that. Hey, wake up. I don't feel like missing its mother. Well, Sergeant Cubs. It. Oh, the job thing must be late training. Yeah, wake up. Wait, I can't. Feet, legs, hands. Okay, it's just marked for me. That's nice. Oh, what's this? Serpent recruit. Hello. I, uh, excuse me, I'm supposed to be participating in group training exercises in order for the twin and recruits, but my party is short of few members, and would you mind joining me? It would be only be for a few moments. Oh, I am level 5. I don't have level 5 gear. The face system. Short but full active time event. These public events quit around the middle of time and they does and they only participate. You sense a fate nearby, a message will appear on your screen. Okay. This progress can be identified. Did I win? Okay. A level sync. You can level sync? That's kind of cool. Wait, did I fail that quest then? Once the phase is completed, a window detailing reward will be displayed. Rewards are distributed to all event participants. Neat. I don't think I passed it. I think I failed. Whoops. Okay. That'll fuck me up. That'll really fuck me up. So will that. Splitting shells. Let's let's go check that out. I should go turn in these quests that I have. Oh, I I caught that fucking bug. And I was trying to squish it, but apparently I did not squish it. Can I push numlock? No. I want an auto run. I hear singing. Oh, that would be a mama's visiting. Uh! Walking right into things like an idiot. Oh, God. I need to kill a couple of these anyways, right? Look at the big fish lizard. Well, I'm gonna level up killing these dudes. Alright, don't be evil. Oh, that's Splitting Shells. That's the name of the quest. That it's marked for me. Okay, makes more sense. Chain bonus. I'm getting the chain bonus again. Yeah, 
Dun, dun, dun. I'm full life, motherfucker. Come get me. Oh, that's cool. It shows like their threat. They're going to attack me. Oh, that can make healing pretty neat. Respawn, what a dick. What the fuck? Oh shit, that's scary. Wait, did I actually aggro him? Yep, I'm out. Bye. Ew, giant mosquito. A little witch hat. I gotta go find. Screw you, mosquito. Okay, I gotta go find the sleeping people. Have you come to train? Here you go. Hmm. Not a new recruit then. What? Oh, the Arzen shells I ordered Marlin to rec requisition. I see you learned to delegate authority to you, if nothing else. Now that I have these carapaces, I can set my recruits some specialized drills. They're already adepting at hitting a target, of course, but they need practical knowledge of exactly where a monster like the Yarsen is most vulnerable. Thanks to your efforts, I have no doubt they will fare rather better against the creatures when called upon. You should be proud of yourself. Both they and the Bannock are suffering for your help. Sick. Food? Toad legs. Spell speed. Skill speed. Let's get money. Okay, I need to go somewhere. What is this? A dungeon. I guess I can go turn in? I, I did a, a bunch of quests. Oh, I hear you grunting, Jada. streaming for Dude, i've been playing for two hours holy crap it's two in the morning okay uh no quests here to turn in huh oh fucking the stupid idol initiates it's fine Oh, damn it. I can't travel with that one. Actually, I'll just go down here and I'll just go to the Conjurer's Guild. That'll do it. Want me to go to Beta to turn in, and she's in the Conjurer's Guild. Why isn't there a turn in up here? You. Oh, you're back. Have you procured the car oils I've requested? Here you go. Yes, everything is in order. The ceremony will proceed as planned. I am grateful to the elements for delivering you to us. We accept this small token of our appreciation. Oh, 
Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we wearing new stuff. Welcome back, Faith. The elementals have told me of your success by placing by placing yourself in the midst of nature to take out the conjurer's eyes, you have taken your first step along the path to enlightenment. This person looks sick. Holy crap. You look awesome. Healing, protection, and destruction. Four spells vary in function. They all derive their power from the same source. The forces embodied in all creation. By gaining a true understanding of these, a conjurer may call upon them. Manip manipulate the, his environment thereby realizing the state of being that he desires. Ah, uh, yes, yours is a familiar look. The very picture of confusion. Be not disheartened, for comprehension shall come in due time. But now you must learn to reach out to the forces embodied in each of us. Pray receive of me this hunting log. Then you will find the names of such creatures that would pose a suitable challenge to conquer. Or to conjure. There's no sign, single path to mastery conjury. Yet you should find yourself needing direction. No, the log is there to guide you. Breathe deep and open your eyes to that which cannot be seen. Feel the myriad life upon you and draw upon the boundless reservoir of energy. Take upon your cane and use it to lend that energy form. Go forth, my younger conjurer, and be at one with the world. Return to me when you have learned to draw upon the forces around you with the self same self -same ease you draw upon those within. The next conjurer quest will be available from East Meon upon reaching level 5. I've already done that. Raisins. Hunting log. The hunting log is a record of your completion of tasks involving the slaying of a certain creature. By completing these tasks, you will be earn rewards and unlock new challenges. The log can be accessed via logs found in the main menu. I've already killed three a bunch of those. God damn it. Okay. Um. Once we learn about the element of Earth, it's good to see you again, Faith. By the air of serenity that surrounds you, it is plain to see. You have learned to drop on the energy of creation. I am glad it is the wellspring of our power, yet the energy of creation is not one thing, but many. And to call upon it without first know knowing each of its conjury at its most basic. As part of your continuing education, it is my desire that you now learn about the element of Earth. Make your way to Blessed Bud in the North Surround and take part. And there partake in here Nolana's wisdom. The depth of his affinity for the elementals of rock and soil is all but the unique amongst conjurers. He is gifted instructor besides. You may be a certain receiving a most enlightening lesson on the subject of Earth. Neat. I need to turn in a bunch of quests. A hard nut to crack. We're gonna have a hard nut. For the uh, on an errand for that glutton of Lalafell, I uh, pass this gate into the west. You'll find trees, spoke of stables. Mm, memory serves the iron snaffle of yours, looks like the kind they use on chocobo bridles. But when would be the I'll ask about that, of course. He looks after the chocobos there, you see. It could be well that he needs use of that snaffle. Okay, thanks, I guess. Lancer's Eye. Or Guild. Okay, we'll go to the Guild. Hala Bladeheart. That's a cool name. Hey buddy, don't need to talk to you right now. Let's 
squirrels are dealt with then. Very good. I am pleased to say you have proven yourself useful. What's that? You wonder what happens to adventurers who fail to complete such traveling task? Why, such sluggards soon find there are no place for them within the city. And where do they end up after leaving Gridania? Well, we shall hear the truth with that before long. Okay. I just teleport to... This? Aha! Lots of quests. Stupid squirrels. Wants me to kill these again. Oh, that must be the sign saying you need to kill them. The hunter's thing. Just bonk. Oh, current main quest scenario. Got it. See, sometimes I get... Is it just random the... that you get the... Neat. I forgot what I was saying. The uh, experience bonus thing. Kicking their ass, no. Above me? It's gonna suck. I hear crickets. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, dude. <laughs> scrub clean a pair of grimed road signs. I have to scrub some road signs? From. You've come to lend a hand, have you? Well then, you're welcome to task for my seemingly never-ending list. I'll need you to head west along the road and scrub down two of their males malsums. I swear by Norfolk, those signs accumulate dirt and grime with almost unnatural haste. Speak with... Kujuwano. A tree speaks fails once you've seen them. Seen them. She'll be glad to hear the ma malsums are clean for the next three bells, at least. Okay. Aha! One of the things to clean. Scrubber, scrubber, scrubber. Oh, we gotta kill those mitlings. Hello. Deliver night. If you want for work, I'll need an adventurer willing to dirty her hands. No, no, I speak not of dark deeds. I mean only to have you deliver something. I myself would never dare venture deep into the Twelve's wood, but you seem more than capable of defending yourself. My darling Killian will furnish you with the item in question and provide you all the necessary directions. You should be somewhere behind the stable supervising the field's hands. Okie dokie. Where's that damn thing gone this time? Uh, oh, I don't... I ain't looking for a chocobo, so one of those birds is becoming a proper bloody handful. Oh, it's a snaffle fur or bridle that I'm after. Bugger's gone home and vanished, see? I just changed his voice. Our snaffles are made of special, see? If it, if it each hole is beak like, so replacing every tiny snaffle like that is one of your... Bugger me, is that it? I tis the self-same one that we lost. Why is it so sticky? Are these teeth marks? Stranger, I don't know what foul beast gob you found is this in, but what providence delivered you? The hero who slew it? To me here today, but you've my deepest thanks. But these here snaffle, I can finally get back to training the yellow feathered menace of mine. Take this with my thanks. Ooh, clothes. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, there's gotta be a button. Control I. I look like a wizard. You got a mind to make you useful. Why don't you call some medicines for me? You train a lot of troubles here, and the young youngins go wild when they get a sniff of mitten. Whiteland. They don't even throw their blooming riders. Let me tell you, if it ain't easy training Trokomo when she drops ye on your head every time she sees a shadow. We've been getting nowhere with these birds lately. If you could rid us a few mittens, and be in your debt. There's these bugs that are over here. Oh. There's a, there's a quest over here. Look at this, he's petting the chocobo. Bunch of question marks around here. Hello. Oh, you were the person that lady told me about. Hello, beef. I only asked you found someone willing to lend a hand. Grab one of the boy left sacks over the yonder atop the crate. Hey, take the most convenient location to be sure, but where else we find store that's stinking and shite? No visiting customer might catch a whiff, that's for sure. Delivered to long down the blessed flood at the west of here, in case you were wondering. Seems our conjurer friend makes his garden pretty blue and seriously. It's manure. He you. I'm stinky. I'm a stinky. Yeesh, those things are creepy. Oh, they're spiders. Are technically like crabs. Bonk. Bonk. I wish when you dodged, it actually showed a dodge. And I guess you just auto loot. Kind of cool. Stinking tree. Ooh, level four. Oh, little Sully dudes, super bad guys, huh? They kind of look cool. I leveled up. Man, it takes forever to learn. New abilities, huh? Bonk. Oh, okay. I don't need to fight them anymore. Alright, let's go turn this in real quick since we're right here. Prime rain. Thank you for your help. We can finally get back to training them young birds. Chocobos are skittish by nature, you see, and training them makes a deal takes a deal of patience. It doesn't take make the task any easier. Those that soldiers and ventures tend to ride them towards danger rather than away from it. Anyway, we're grateful for the help. Here's a small token of our gratitude. Sweet honey. Thank you, delivery. We haven't forgotten how you helped us out with them mightlands. Speaking of which, if you've got a bit more time or spare, you could able to gather some aphids. You can find them living in the tangled learning girls near Blessed Blood. But don't be surprised if your presence distracts a starving ladybug or two. They're rather fond of those vile, vile, vile can you see? But if you got the earth, we to deliver to the Captain Guthrid over there. He just tat spire. Tell him Tree Speak Stable sends its regards. Okay. I think this one is going to be. 
the clean the sign thing. Ooh. Oh, I'm not going to make that fate. It's like six seconds. Oh, hello. The nose knows. The order. Is that what I think it is? Yep, here's some manure. Praise be to the elementals, I cannot thank you enough for this kindness. The bounty of chocobo manure shall nourish the plants and ensure that continued growth. Please relay my sincere thanks to Vion upon your return to Tree Speak Staples, and a word of ice, wash your hands quickly, lest the cloying stench of feces linger. You seek here, Nolane? Nolanel? Then sing no more, for you have found him. What can I do for your friend? Oh, brother, he's Suma. Suma, ya. Did you come to me to learn from the elemental of Earth? That is well. The power of Earth is the solid foundation upon which a conjurer stands. I could happily lecture you for days on its intricate variations for properties. But I rather suspect a busy life and adventure would not afford the time required for such extended discourse. Accordingly, I shall offer you an opportunity to experience the qualities of Earth first hand in combat. Now mark me well, Faith, and do exactly as I command. These appear as the grounds of tree speak stables. There exists a patch of soil that bears the mark of corruption. Seek it out! When you have found the place, reach out to the focus of the Earth's trauma and attempt to commune with it, as all conjurers can. Resentful of your intrusion, the tainted being that feasts unseen upon the energy seeping from the wounded Earth shall then appear. Using the powers of conjuring, strike it down and permit the land a chance to heal. Uh, Sabrina! How's it going? Welcome to the stream! You're up very late. Thank you for the good vibes. How are you doing? Much of the nature of Earth will be revealed to you during this struggle, Faith. I trust you will return to me wiser woman than uh, what than when you are now departs. Oh, what is this? This is an aphid. Oh God, it's a level seven. Okay. Ow. Stinking ladybug? Aha. Oh, I just had to do that once? Neat. You played your first Magic the Gathering game today with your friends and you won? Nice. I used to play a lot of Magic. Magic's fun. Did you play a, a deck that uh, someone let you borrow? It was very confusing. <laughs> That's not so bad. Just get a couple games in. Welcome back, friend. I gather you the smell. This task is complete. Oh my, did I neglect to inform you the tax contents? I cannot apologize enough. I would certainly explain why you agreed to help with countless others turn their noses up at the idea, so to speak. Well, it's done is done. Please accept this for your troubles along with my thanks. Neat. Trial by Earth. Oh? What's here? Investigate the crepid soil and vanquish. Oh. Oh, is it going to be the garden here there we go green and red deck I those are those are two of the colors that I enjoy I have quite a few green and red decks they're fun oh god get wrecked now is he immune or strong against my attacks because I'm doing stone and he's made of stone. I win. Huzzah. Yeah, 
A fate. It's got 13 minutes. It's a level 3. I can do it. Okay, just auto joined me when I was trying to talk to a dude. Welcome back, Faith. The elementals whisper of your accomplishments. How did you feel to confront the embodiment of Earth? To endure its onslaught has the crushing power of the elements shaken the very marrow of your bones. Corruption occurs when the lion's wounds are prevented from healing. In vanquishing the tainted spirit, you permitted Earth's energies to flow unimpeded and to nourish the land once more. Can you not sense the strength of the Earth returning? Already the land begins to heal. Thanks to your actions, that field will once again bear bountiful crops. But next you have reason to call upon your heart to look back at this task and that which you have accomplished. Experience once more the grinding weight of the Earth's fury and revel in the memory of life flowing anew through the land you have helped restore. With such thoughts shall your understanding of nature continue to grow. I hope you are paying attention, Sylphie. Huh? Hi. Hello, who are you? See this adventurer here? Faith came all the way from Stillgate Fane just to hear my lesson. You would do so well to learn from her example if you wish to become a conjurer worthy of the name. You must make an effort to study nature. Do you intend do you attend me, young lady? Why should I bother studying nature? I can conjure already. Are we gonna fight? See? You have a rare gift for healing, Sylphie. A wonderful gift, yet there is more to being a conjurer than... I don't want to do more. I want to heal. I'm good at healing. You can't make me do those other things. Aw, oh, she just wants to be a healer. Holy crap, three years, I know! It's actually not working. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Something is not working. That's not what I want. There, that might help. Okay. Uh, that's a different person. Sometimes I wonder why I even no. Sometimes I wonder why I even try. Sylphie joined the guild shortly before you came to us, and as you, you yourself just experienced, she possesses a prodigious talent for healing. Indeed, despite her tender years, I know few conjurers who are e her equal in that field. Alas, nature, the very wellspring of her power, holds no interest for the child, and when she should be right by rights by learning about the land, she prefers instead to wander it, healing people on a whim. You, in contrast, have been most attentive student. I have taught you all I know of the element of Earth. You may report back to Brother Isumi and tell him as much. Okay. Oh, the fate went away. God damn it. sign. These guys are going to attack me? Yes. Alright, let's go clean this sign. Oh, 
Look at these things. They're called opo opos. Gigantorous tails. Oh, midge swarm. I gotta kill one of these. Look at the giant scorpion. They have two scorpion tail. Oh no, it's just two of them. Terrifying looking. I just realized I was still in studio mode in OBS. Something for me! Here you go. Have some aphids. Ah, aphids from Bodwine. This is indeed a blessing. What a use have we had for aphids, you ask? Why, they're royal, of course. There's not better for maintaining our weapons. If we're not for your timely delivery, we would have been forced to send a sentry to replenish our dwindling supplies. I have to thank Bodwine personally. And thanks for you as well, friend. Ah, Faith, just the person you offer on behalf of Tree Speak Stables mark you out as a genuine talent. If, a, if you have confidence in your battle craft, mayhap you would be agreed to help us fight against the Ixal. Those are just dudes down there. According to reports, Ixali's scouts have been sighted from the river due west of here. Though the area is uninhabited, its borders of Tree Speak Stables and Blessed Bud. We mean to drive them off before they can threaten our people. If some of their scouting parties were to be similarly. Similarly dispatched, it might give their leaders cause to doubt the wisdom of their plan. Say to Exali Dual Talons, two Exali Lost Wings, and two Exali Slow Beaks. Tell them the price they must pay for setting foot in our territory. Okay. If I fight one of them, or a bunch of them will even come at me is the question. Guess we'll find out. Nope. Oh, that guy's coming. Ow, shit, dude. himself. What is that? Holy... Oh, it still hit me? Come on, dude. That was unfair. Alright, I'm guessing I'm gonna get both of them. Oh, shit. I don't like that. Please don't aggro. Sweet. I do need one more of them. Oh, that did a ton of damage. 
Nope. <laughs> I learned last time, sucker. Oh, that's not fair. And those things spawn crazy fast. I do not like those. Those are creepy. I wonder if there's a way you can upgrade your sprint. Kinda cool. It was a bloody work, but it has been done. Your service to Gudani will not be forgotten. Thanks to you, now have time to plot our next move. We can muster our forces and take the battle to the Birdman. Or consolidate our defenses before they return. I must, I must needs consult with the commander. Wait, why is that trial by Earth there? I thought I already finished that. Oh, wrong way. doesn't show up on my map here, but shows up. What is that? It's weird. I don't know if that's a bug. Shuba snacks. and just went over there to murder that squirrel. What's that? You've been clearing maelstroms? I thank you. With all the chores I need doing around here, I fear they would be left to get even filthier. It's not just that they were an eyesore, by the way. In that state, the creatures around here won't lay their eggs on them. As to why, well, I can only assume they... Their preferred nesting trees are in short supply these days. But that, be that as it may, we can't have monsters hatching from road signs. These paths are dangerous enough as it is. Perhaps a spring leaf steam brew would keep the beasts away. You have learned a roll action. Roll actions are spells, and weapon skills are assigned to all cl the classes within a roll. Tank, melee DPS, range DPS, healer. Rather than a specific class, role actions are learned in the same manner as class actions via leveling, but only need to be l learned once to be able to use them with all participating classes within the role. The role section has been added to actions and traits found under character in the main menu. Selecting will display the role actions you have learned. I learned a role action. What was it? Repose. Afflicts targets with sleep. Neat. Need someone to slay. Oh, the bo those monkeys. Did you hear about the man of her smell? Apparently, Opal Opal's crept in her stores made off with her moon tie beans. Ordinarily, Opal Opal's wouldn't go near them, but that their foul odor and even fouler taste, but food has become scarce of late. Truth be told, a good many of us are glad to be rid of the stench. Still, I can't stand, stand to see Demeta so dispirited. Would you track down those thieving Opal Opal's and recover the moon tie beans? I'm told six bags are taken on top. I'll talk. The matter is well respected by the women of her smell, so I would do so. So I would do you well to earn her favor. So be polite, smile, and don't interrupt if she goes off on her, one of her tangents. Her smell lies just to the noise of here. You'll like to run into old bobos on the way. With luck, you may even encounter the bean thieves himself. Damn it. Okay, so the fates must get cleared at some point because. There was like 10 minutes on that one, and I was only there for two. Whoa, hi tree. 
Bean thieves. All right, let's go. Fight some of the creepy monkey things. Oh, he's just chucking stuff at me. the trial kind of thing because I fuck these people up. Oh, I got a high quality item. Also, I still have not found a fucking uh, mailbox or something. You haven't seen a high quality item. HQ items can be identified by their icon as well as by the special mark that appears after their name. You're often to have better stats than normal quality items, while HQ materials used in synthesis will sometimes yield better results. These features make them more attractive to prospective buyers, resulting in higher selling prices. HQ items cannot be stacked with the normal quality. Oh, well, that's good to know. What did I get? You got active help entry. Oh, I got a high quality animal skin. Okay. shows up. Those are really super delayed. Whoa, hey dude. That guy's big. Kind of looks like an Akuma. Yeah, my fate. All right, I'm going. Oh shit. Running right into enemy territory right there. joined. Okay. Uh, have expanded their territory slightly too close. Uh, oh. Oh, shit! Motherfuckers. Oh, they're level twos. Okay, I could probably just mess this guy up. How many do I gotta kill? I guess I gotta fill this bar. I'm doing all the work. I better get all the experience. Scared this tree's gonna come murder me. He's eaten! I love it. Oh, got a high quality animal skin. Ooh, good thing I didn't attack right there. That's 
messing these boys up. There's one. There's the rest. Slowly spawning in. Don't throw your stuff at me. idea what oh I did it I just got money and experience nothing else Aww. okay just kind of hoping I would get like some gear or something smells like tree spirit I love that doesn't work. Oh crap, I ran by those guys again. Should probably run there at some point. Run right to the middle so I can get that crystal location. Hello. You seen your face around here before? It's my sworn duty to keep the peace and herbs in still and protect her from them as would be do her people harm. If you're mean to stay for a spell. Don't have to prove you can be trusted. Ours ain't a large community, and we've hardly any fighting folks, so there's always a need for battle savvy types of that be with all the beasties lurking here about. Really? No, not battle savvy, and you guys are all geared out with battle gear. As it happens, we've been suffering from an outbreak of midges of late. The buggers drive it off with all to distinct distraction. Now, if you were to exterminate, say, half a dozen swarms, we'd know you were a friend. Really? That's all it takes? Lenive. You have a look of an adventurer. Adventurers love, li love little texts, do they not? Well, I need you to head into the forest and pick a glimshroom for me. You haven't the faintest idea of what a glimshroom is, do you? Glimshroom is the common name for a variety of fungus with a unique white phosphorescence. Huh? What did you say? A glowing mushroom. Yes, I suppose you could put it that way. There's a colony on the rock face, and a house with a peace garden. Do not simply pick the first one you come across, the brightest glowing mushroom you can find, if you please. Oh, oh yes, I would love to be able to harvest glim shroom for myself, but there is a small matter of exali scouts. Not terribly friendly, those chaps. Off you go, then. Ah, here's... Whoa! Holy crap! Uh, I suppose there's nothing to be done. What is it, young lady? You have something for me? I do. There you go. Have some beans. <gasps> I'm missing be bags of moon <laughs> moon tui beans. But wow! You didn't track down those wretched opo obos, did you? I'd all but give enough hope before you arrive. But with these beans, I can make enough moon to tonic for everyone in history. As long as I have enough marochu like this flavor, there should be no complaints. Speaking of which, my son drank unflavored moon tui tonic the other day. 
one of his friends challenged him to do it. And he said, he said, Do you know what? He drained the whole cup in one great gulp without making so much as a face. Oh, he gets he grows stronger and braver by the day. Nay, the very hour. Either that or my secret recipe is rather more delicious than I imagined. Hmm, now that I think about it, a good many people have described the taste as unforgettable. Oh dear, if I can make this much smoke to tonic, I'll need far more Moroshu leaves. I knew that was going to happen. Young lady, would you be so kind as to fetch me four leaves from the Morocco's outside the hamlet? I'm whipping up a fresh batch of Moon Tai Tonic, you see. Oh, it's a lovely drink. Absolutely burst of nutrients and goodness. I'll have you know, I always drink at least one cup a day. Alas, few people share my passion for healthy living. Truth be told, most won't touch the stuff. Not unless you add Morocco leaf leaves. Anyway, apparently the taste and smell are too distracting for some such nonsense. Oh, listen to me prattling on like an... Ishgarten priest. I shall stop talking and start stirring. Well, don't just stand there, dear. Run along and fetch me those leaves. This batch will be ready soon. You'll be such a shame if one who could drink it with me. Okay. Oh. Oh. Freaking mail. Give me my presents. Greetings, though, when I'm delivering Mo Okobo. Oh, I know you're thinking Moogles are supposed to hide in trees and avoid contact with outsiders. Why? I misclicked. Why, indeed, if I had my work, I'd be curled up on a canopy of nice oak dreaming about some beautiful Moogly with a rainbow-colored pom-pom. Cool. But no, the moon has gone dropped from the sky, causing all that terrible commotion. Aetherites were shattered and link pearls rendered useless. For moons, the poor wingless people of Eorzea had no way of communicating with each other beyond screaming at the top of their lungs, which no one really approved of. Cool. That is, until the little orange ones asked us to assist them by delivering messages. At first, we were aware of showing ourselves, worried that one you might catch to skin us, like you do every other forest furry. But once we saw how much we were appreciated, we knew we'd found our new calling. And I personally promised to try not to read anything along the way, Kubo. Look what we have here, seven new letters now right just for you. Moogle Delivery Service. The Moogle Delivery Service can be accessed by speaking with one of the many delivery Moogle stations throughout the Azoria. Or by clicking on the Moogle to lugger box service. Blah, 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 blah. Clicking the new button. Look at yeah, that's sending stuff. Thank you for playing Final Fantasy. Encloses a wind-up Moogle minion. Neat. You have obtained a whistle with which you can summon your very own minion. To learn the call minion action, you must first use the whistle. Once you have used them, item a new entry will appear in your minion guide. Found another character in the main menu. You can either initiate the actions for the menu or drag them. Okay. To send your menu away, simply reselect the summoning icon. Minions can be summoned or dismissed at any time. This is going to be recast timer. While minions do not generate any enmity, neither will they participate in battle. If you are a hero, your menu will simply wander back or at rest until you call it again. Okay. Tradable items. That makes sense. Unique items. Fleet. That chocobo whistle. Okay. I close the wind up curse of minion. It's Fantasia. Oh man, I'm getting a bunch of weird stuff. A curl mount. I'm getting a mount? Can I use a mount yet? That's cool. Uh, Behemoth Barding. What's that? Eight strike fear into your enemies. Is a set of Behemoth Barding for your Chocobo. Is that gear? Is that Chocobo gear? A baby Behemoth. <gasps> I got the little purple pig! Helm of Light. Oh, fuck! Damn! I wish I would have gotten that or check, found a way to check mail earlier. Because that gives experience. Hell yeah. Increase experience here in British Nights when set when level 10 and below. I'm level 8. That's fine. Oh god, it looks awful. <laughs> 
Um, I said it was in. Uh, here you go. Wind up Moogle. Use. You can now summon a wind up Moogle minion. Shit. How do I do it though? Legend states that only drink this mysterious liquid before lying down for the evening while awakening a new man or woman. Grant you a single opportunity to edit your appearance in the character creation screen upon your next login. Neat. I don't know what any of this is. Okay. So I have to have unlocked something. Stance. Nope. Whoa. Cool. Okay. Mount guide. Playfully described as someone's large in charge. Set mount roulette. Set from favorites only. Add to favorite. Add to favorite. Unauthorized to summon mount. Okay. At least two mounts must be favorited. Yeah. It must be a level thing. Minion guide. Right. Click it. I am a Moogle. I love him. I got a friend. He's adorable. Sweet. Um. Don't know what that is. Okay. Yes, we're gonna go. <laughs> Look at him hopping around. <laughs> I love him. A little more experience, I guess. Oh, I'm being poisoned. heal itself? Oh, I need to kill them. Because they're also hunting quests. He's hopping around. Oh, 
Oh, I finished my hunt. Hey. Ew. Squirting your poison everywhere. Oh shit, it went off still. I wonder if the uh, objective log behind me will tell me if I finish it before it shows up in front of me. Self murdered. Must help. remaining. Oh, we got to protect Saks. Okay. Nope. Not allowed. I might actually run out of mana. Leave it alone. my god <laughs> up all the time striker get him piggy oh, i'm at half life i should probably be a little more careful a square. Can I see friendly people's lives here? No. Stay with my beans. That sack's getting fucked. That actually heals for a lot. Okay. We did it! Did I take first? Is that what that means? Hell yeah. Yeah, you better run. I was wondering if I was gonna have to start sleeping some of them, but... More friends showed up, and we were fine. Oh, 
<laughs> the mana's getting low. Alright, last one. Eat something. Um, yum, 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 yum. I like him, he's fun. Did it. Beastkin blood. Ooh, I'm about to leave level nine. You return us to kindness, all proving yourself capable of science. Take this with it. Germ still stinks. Ah, before you go, I've got a lot of something else you can do for us. And I leveled up. Would you mind going to the hedge tree and seeing that's all well? Since ancient times, the trees have guarded these woods with their holy presence. Lately, though, we've been hearing reports of exiled pecking around in her vicinity. No more, no more than scouts, I'd wager, but if they were to lay their filthy hands on that hedge tree, well, they don't bear thinking about it. I'd be much obliged if you'd head south or east of the hedge tree and see if there no harm come to her. Oh, and if you chance to encounter any exiles, send them packing. Be warned though, the broomin ain't like to take their leave without a fight. Without a fight. Make sure you go over here and keep your eyes peeled, right? I need to find a, a rest spot. Ah, oh, you're back. Did you mind if I find the Orochu leaf list I asked for? Here you go. Let's see. Yes, that's four, right? <sighs> Such a lovely scent. I've gathered only four I asked for. And not one more, yes? Oh, I know I shouldn't have to ask, but these more and more people forget to take only what they need. If we're to live in harmony with the woods, we must respect life and remember what it means to take it. Ever be wasteful, know the value of life, and know the value of our time here in this world. That's why I always live my life to the fullest, wasting nary a moment and nary a word. Nay, not so much as a single one. Remember, if you mean to remain within the twelfth wood, you must be ever mindful to show respect and gratitude to the forest and to the elementals. You know, you remind me of my son. He's a good boy, but sometimes forgets what it means to be a Gridonian. Well, I just the other day I caught him and his friends throwing Muntoi beans at each other. He used to say I was terribly cross. Wouldn't be. And all set to give them a memorable scolding. But I noticed they were playing in teams. And that my son was leading the winners. Oh, God. Oh, I know I shouldn't have been proud. But when I saw the way he marshaled his troops. By which I mean his friends. It was so clear to me. The way he was a born leader. Ah, where was I? Oh, yes. You see, later that day I was cooking dinner. And he quite... And he quite without prompting. Offered to wash the vegetables. He's such a good boy, you know. There's a hat. Hat, ether, or money. Strength and dex, though. Alright, what is this? Repairs. Oops. Settlement. Will this give me... Oh, that's not the settlement. I'm assuming that just means... Obviously the settlement, not necessarily this building here. Let's see. Well, there's beds here. You think I would get rested here? Bummer. Okay, let's go for a quick run. Maybe I should just teleport. That might be the smart, smart thing to do. <clears throat> also, I still need to go talk to Gelfried or whatever his name is. 
because I think I have level 5 gear on. I mean, except for my helmet right now. But I can switch that. Hey, motherfucker. What are you doing? Scouting around here. Mr. Level 8. Ow. Get out of my swamp. Achievement unlocked. Yay. Come here, little piggy. It's technically a behemoth, but he looks like a little pig and it makes me happy. You go, eat bird. So an exile, did you? Oh, bloodthirsty birds, they think twice before coming near our hamlet. There's a one swill in the twelves wood, you know? But long ago, they woke the green wraith. Green wrath, and were driven out. Needless to say, they weren't best pleased with us, Gridanians took their place here. In fact, it's none of other than the resentment that kindled their hatred for us. Ah, oh, but I expect them boring you. By defending the hedge of tree, you've once more proven yourself a friend of the hair smell. If you can spare a moment, I ask you speak with others in the hamlet. Many of us here could use a hand, and I think none other better than insist them. Ooh. Ooh! Ooh! Better pants! Wait. Oh. Eat, I guess. Five and ten. Ah, okay, so the plus on the thing is how much better they are. Neat. And there was people here with quests you lied to me. Oh. Miria. Pardon me, my lady. Might you be the adventure of whom Edward speaks so highly? If you could spare a moment. I, I've never thought of myself as a popular girl. It didn't really give me a cause to believe otherwise. But lately, I've been the recipient of several gifts. Sparkling jewels and fine silks over which a prouder maid, which a prouder maid than I would surely swoon. All from an honest admirer. Naturally, I was flattered, but I knew nothing of my mysterious benefactor. And so I endeavored to seek him out, only to discover that he is none other than Elbert, an infamous rogue wanted for countless robberies in Gridania. Everything is now that all these presents were taken from others, is that I have unwittingly won the affections of a dangerous criminal. But that's not all. With this lady's gift came a request. He insists that we meet in the woods outside the hair smell, where he intends to present me with his most precious gift. I'm at a loss, I beg of you, my lady. Will you go into in my stead? What's up, Cereal? Yeah, it's a bit late. It's 3.30 in the morning. How you doing, my man? We shall only be left in peace, but I fear man such as he may be driven to violence when he may to hear such words. I pray no harm comes to you. Alright, let's go fuck us up a dude. Have you ever played this game, Serial? Where you at, sucker? Well, oh, this guy mad. Oh shit! Move! I missed. That was that square box or move that we saw in the uh, the city. Get fucked. Going good? Just woke up? What time is it for you? Yeah, I, I noticed that too. Um, Because a buddy of mine was talking to me about it, and then so I started looking into it, and then I just... When I was watching you 
stream, I saw a bunch of people on my follows list were playing. It's like, huh. So I don't know if there's like something new or something crazy going on right now. I'm gonna give him thanks for unharmed at least a letter for me. Here you go. It's half past ten? Oh, that's not bad. Um... When you say half 10, is that 9.30 or is it half past 10, like 10.30? At least this game we could play cross realm with each other. <laughs> oh, cutscene. My dearest Tim area. Enable text auto advance. Following can be used to adjust speed. I pay this letter friends you will. I know my gifts were sudden and many, but I hope they were to your liking. Seeing you in the first summer of your womanhood, I could restrain myself no longer. My thoughts have been only of you these past many moons, of what gifts might bring you happiness. But to see you smile from afar is not nearly enough. I long to live together with you in Hairsmill, and nothing would bring me greater joy. I would give you a grand garden filled with the white chamomile you love so. But such dreams can never come true. My crimes are known and will never be forgiven. The most I can hope for you is for you to know my heart. I would grant me a measure of peace. And so if it does not cause you distress, I would write to you again. Here's ever, Albier. 1030, gotcha. Thank you for bringing me this letter, Faith. This most precious gift, I understand now. How do you know my favorite flower? He's a stalker. Is Albert? No, no, it can't be. It can't be. Anyway, you must return the presents to the rightful owners. I know it will not erase this Albert's sins, but perhaps the twelve will view him more kindly. Or give me this final request. But could you go to Grand Donnie and speak with a woman named... Oh, hey. Lady. Oh, God, that helmet. You should find her at the Carolyn County if you tell her. All the transpired here today. She'll know what to do. Yay. Yeah, what I, what I do like about this game, though, is one character you can have, and they can be every class. So freaking cool. A glimpse room. If I got the brightest one. Oh, what's going on here? No birds allowed. I'm in. Let me up. fucking What? You can't jump over oh, okay, that's that's annoying. Oh, dude, same. I, I, I'm in this pretty much blind. Oh, shit. There's a lot of boys here. Okay, let's murder some boys. Dude, if uh, you got this and you wanted to play, I'd be more than happy to play with you. We, did. I'm, I'm waiting for like a friend. Ah! To, oh shit, to come online or something at some point because I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know how things work. I got it. I first, ah! I created this character, right? And I logged in and I immediately had seven like letters in the mail. So I don't know if it's because. I, I bought it. I, I think I technically pre-ordered it way back in the day. So 
so maybe it just gave me like some pre-order bonuses because like that's what i think maybe where this helmet came from because it's like a bonus experience helmet Yeah, dude, it took like 40 minutes for it to install for me. And uh, that's probably because <laughs> for some reason it was only don downloading at 50 megs a second. Which is funny because, you know, 20 years ago, that was like insane speed. Boys, I have six more minutes. So, is there no cast interruption? Can they hit me? better run. I need to... I need to go back home. We'll find a place to sleep. You go. Oh, when you look at the glow, perfect. This will help me mix a potent remedy for the creeping death. You forced all the obvious question. The creeping death is a deadly plague that once ravaged the high Hyperion populace of Gudania. Though it can now be cured through simple conjury, it doesn't hurt to have a ready supply of the medicine. After all, all here and here, so you can you cannot always rely. God damn it! I'm. It's fine. I misclicked. Alright, maybe I'll go get this crystal real quick. Although, I don't know if that's going to make me run through Murder Valley. this open? Yes. Oh, hi. Cool. Lizard bird people. I want to be one of them. Crystal thing. Oh, oh, all right, okay. <gasps> Aha, found a sanctuary. Perfect. 
wondering if sanctuaries only count where there's a big crystal. How do I use it? So if I... Cars, gill, fee, paid. That's a lot of money, though. Okay, so that's my hearth. Cool. Let's go turn in some quests. Hey, friend. Not you. You. Oh, a message from the memory of her. You smell, you say? Oh, I see. I see. Oh, Albert, you fool. I'll do with the stolen goods. Why not? This man has a boy and his family. He once lived in this very town. One day he stole a handful of chamomile seeds from an influential merchant in the Ebony stalls. You see, this boy had a sister, and chamomile was her favorite flower. Oh. He can only make her sister happy. His sister happy. I doubt he grasped the gravity of his act. But regardless, his parents felt that he had brought terrible shame on the family, so they disowned him. Cast out of hearth and home, he grew desperate, and those who think only well, these rough Little of law, a common in a fate tale, perhaps, but no less tragic for it. And now you know the truth the sister Albert loved so dearly is the Marion. Marion was too young to remember when Albert left, so his parents decided to conceal his existence. However, word of the boy's banishment soon spread, and her parents forced to move to Harris Mill to maintain the fiction. By now, and Mary is truly her romance of her long lost brother. Though a gentle girl, like her, would never question her parents' honesty and would. Whatever faint memories she once may have had are long gone. But Albert was never, was never forgotten to marry, despite the danger. I suspect he now keeps close to Glardani, refusing to leave his beloved sister a second time. I think I murdered him. I'll send him Mary some chamo chamomile seeds, by the way, of thanks for helping us recover the stolen goods. If only it were as simple as returning them to their rightful owners, that late Albert's crimes will not be so easily forgiven. Okay, he might be alive, so. Or perhaps by the time these seeds have sprouted and their flowers bloomed, he will have found a new path. Ooh. New pants. Heck yeah, new pants. Let's go. Okay, let's, um, go this way, I guess. Wait, isn't this leaving? Yes, God damn it. Oh, wait. That guy's quest is here. I might as well do this since I'm here. Oh, a hunting quest.
Drake's room? What's that? Oh, I, an item I got. Okay, I gotta find some sleepy people here. I don't judge. There we go. I do not see him attempting to become one with nature. Leave me be a good madam. Oops. It wouldn't let me click, so I clicked like seven times and it finally went through. Where's the oh thing just fell off my wall? Where's the last person? There you are. Not your soothing sound. One day she'll build a home by the river. Who are you? You say the search is looking for me? How long have you been here? What bell is it now? Stand aside, I must take make haste. For inspection, are we? Right then. Eyes forward, back straight. Hmm, yes, I think you must pass muster. You'd be surprised for how many young promising soldiers get themselves killed by rushing off into the woods without first donning a decent set of armor. I have a level one hat. Does that not matter? Your equipment, however, should provide the required degree of protection. Consider yourself ready for duty phase. Ooh. New gear. One-handed conjurer's arm. that do magic damage oh yeah neat got a new gear thank you base all the initiatives are now present and accounted for it's always the same you know a handful of recruits invariably lose focus on a short while after being assigned to their new unit the first rush of tension and excitement wears off and the strain from constant trails begins to show. Reprimanding them isn't always the best solution, though. I have their moral t morale to think about, after all. Still, I might give them a quick blast for good measure. What can I say? This is one battle I'm not afraid to fight. I got a magic stick achievement unlocked, and I'm level 10. And I got Medica. And Asuna. Alright, I gotta take off that hat now, because... Doesn't help anymore. Ah, oh, Faith. By your tireless efforts, you have proven yourself a friend to Gridania. I believe you can be trusted in, with sensitive inf intelligence. I would assign you a mission of considerable import, yet the need for secrecy prevents me from disclosing its details until you have pledged your participation. I am, an author I am authorized to tell you only after a concerned suspicious activity in Twelveswood. Today, will lend us your aid, and I shall proceed with the briefing. Can't remember your freaking ID. Dude, I had the same thing. I had to go through their support. I remembered nothing. And so I was like, all right. And I had an authenticator attached, which I, that phone is four or five phones ago. So it was like, I went to their support and I was like, and they have a, like a whole form you can fill out and you just fill out as much information that you can remember. And to my surprise, a couple of days later, I got an email saying the authenticator got removed and my account and credentials were reset. I was like, holy shit, you didn't need an ID or anything? That's amazing. I just, I remembered enough because, you know, I haven't moved in, since the game came out, so. I just remembered most of the stuff that I have. Good time. Time is of the essence, so listen well. You'll be, by now, have heard this suspicious individual has been seen prowling to Ellswood. And you may have also be aware that exile activity has risen sharply in the region of late. 
You may not know that this is an increase coincided almost exactly with the first recorded sighting of the aforementioned individual. Suspecting a connection, we tighten our surveillance in hopes of tracking down our unknown visitor. Alas, our query provided query is providing to be exceedingly elusive, almost as if he knows our movements ahead of time. But we're but we're but where whole units have failed, the lone adventurer may yet succeed. Acting independently and co covertly, you may be able to close in on our quarry unnoticed. Fear and anxiety are beginning to take their toll upon the citizenry, Faith. For their sake, I ask you that you aid us in this investigation. You have my gratitude. With your help, I hope we will shed light upon the mystery. Begin your search. Oh wait, this is Galfred. Fuck! Begin your search at... Life from end. Stump is where the majority of the sightings took place. Be forewarned, my people cannot offer you support. Lest our quarry catch scent of our presence and evade us yet again. Proceed with caution. Your account is restricted to someone to get into your account and start spamming crap. Or restricted as in, like, you don't, uh, you don't have game time. Holy shit. Oh, man, I just unlocked a crap ton of stuff. No, I didn't want to do that yet. I want... Uh, I'm gonna go back home. There was a bunch of quests that I had at home. But they didn't show up. This sounds like Miyazaki music. Oh, I gotta kill these guys. The second bar here... I was been playing Warlock and WoW, and I keep thinking that's like my pet attack button. Why is the music? Oh, I joined a fate somehow. Clever girls, is there gonna be raptors attacking? Count one long on in the steam overlay kept coming up without pressing shift and tab. That's some strange activity. Oh, that's weird. You have the steam version then? I'm trying to fucking cast and it's not letting me. There it goes. Oh, I forgot to check out what my new abilities are. Restores own HP and the HP of all nearby members. Neat. Removes a single detrimental effect. Neat. You know, he's... Oh, there's one. I don't want to be here. Someone laying a trap? Sound like a trap sound. No. Uh huh. Not every range, sucker. Holy crap. I 
I don't know if I'm getting credit for some of this. Aha! I took first. Neat. Fuck. I just undid something. Good bash. Love it. Get out of here. I'm guessing E Shroud is not where I want to be. Yeah, it's not. Where's teleport? Roll. Travel, here you go. Nope. Uh, whoa, excuse me. Sprint, teleport, there you go. What's duty action? Contribution will be way as heavy. I'm level 10, what are you talking about? Oh. I'm attacking the wrong thing. Oh. Can explode? Ew, he just gooped everything. Up your world. Oh yeah, yeah. So um, I'm in I'm in the primal servers and I'm on Ultros. You don't have to pick Ultros, but you would in order to play like a cross realm thing, you do you would have to pick primal. But it unfortunately that's like mid US, so I guess you would have to find see if your latency would be bad. Am I the only one here? I'm the only one here. Birds one soon. I'll take it. And I'm barely filling this bar up at all. Definitely gonna need someone else to come in here. Do something. I do too little damage. A little conjure herself. He started attacking me. I'm cool, bro. Right, 
about half. Why did you attack me? I didn't attack you. That's rude. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, that was just in time. Guy's an asshole. I did it all myself. Hell yeah. I should get bonus for that. Turn that in real quick, I guess. These guys are adorable. The old salamanders. You gotta fight the big tree, man. You're about to enter an instance battle. Instance battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Take a moment to read the information displayed in the active help window before answering the call of duty. You're about to enter special instances that are reserved for important battles, which feature unique environmental conditions or powerful boss enemies. Instance objectives can be confirmed in the duty list. For the duration of the battles, you will be able to pass beyond the red line displayed in the field. You will automatically leave the instance once all quest objectives have been met. Duty calls. Level sync is in effect. If you are above the maximum level, you will sync as follows. Okay. So I'm going down to one level, essentially. Level sync is cool, because then you can play with your friends, too, no matter what level they are. That's super cool. Someone's already here. Voice acting, finally. Hi. Uh, oh dear. Is that a sword and a stump? Bad idea. Really bad idea. It takes a lot less I'm than to incite the green wrath, you know? Why, the first time I came to the Twelves Wood, Is we this almost our ended dark up as a stranger? tree dinner. Just for crashing our airship in the wrong place. There was a... It was all Papalimo's fault, of course. 
Why is she talking? It's a bug. here as well and newly manifested at that she's gonna have a hard time wearing her binoculars with that mask kuplo cop seems convinced of your innocence but if this isn't your doing whose is it since the calamity, the forest's been really sensitive. The slightest disruption to the etheric flow. Oh. And this sort of thing happens. Are we on a team? Oh, oh, that's why they were fighting the tree, because. Oh, he angry. Angry boy. Oh, lots of angry boy. They look like they have cannons for eyes. Don't worry, I got you heals. It seems we have little choice. Helping. All right, Mike. There it goes. I I couldn't even hurt those guys, even though I was selecting them. You guys are just fucking these, this guy up. Okay. <laughs> Band of uh, ah! being attacked. Hey, thank you so much for the raid, my friend. How you doing? Big hug. And we got a. Uh, I think that was a follow sound too. Ah! I don't know what I'm doing. You guys ca caught me in on my first, I guess, instance fight. Were you playing? Were you playing some uh, Final Fantasy as well? And if so, feel free to drop ah, any hints or tips because I have no idea what I'm doing. Leave me alone! I don't want to play. Get off me! Stupid tree doesn't die. Ah! Exploding! Can you not? Hey, come over here and hang out by the people doing massive AOE stuff. That sounds that sounds smart. I'm gonna die. We're fine. Explodies. It's good. We're good. It's fine. What is this? Brilliant conviction. Breaking limits. Cool. These guys didn't even take any damage. N Award. Is that like mage armor? We did it! Holy crap! Just follow the main quest and every five levels do your class quest. That's the best tip I can give. Okay, follow the main quest and every five levels do your class quest. Okay, I think I just did a class quest. Oh, also, thank you so much for the follow. I'm getting JD a treat or say thank you so much for the follow. 
Um, yum, 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 yum. Quickly for the doggy. Yes, that that is a that is a Jada in the photo, or the the cam there. I had two, uh, but unfortunately, two weeks ago we had a we had to put my my brown potato down because uh, she had a, a brain tumor. You have a cat cam? She plays fetch like a dog, though. I love that. Hear, feel, think. You throw like little mice toys. You have like 10 cams. Holy crap. Holy crap. How do you do? You have like a, a dedicated, like, just PC just meant for cameras and stuff that's a lot of usbs and each and whatever else you use crystal bearer it's all magic i'm a crystal bearer <gasps> this is prelude you hear this at the beginning of final fantasy 7 turning it up there once was that shone throughout this realm yet it has since grown dim and as it hath faltered so hath darkness risen up in its stead presaging an end to life for the sake of all I beseech thee deliver us from this fate The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. I love the music right now. It's giving me all the giddies. Shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee? Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart. Oh, hello, friend. Hello, friend. Are those the warriors of light? Maybe. I'm a fairy. Go now, my child, and shine thy light on all creation. Yeah, you have a Enough cams on one USB controller. I'm gonna have to sync all those times up. You fainted. A surfeit of ether, no doubt. Hmm. And what so what do you play? Here? Ben. Like well, what class do you play? And have you played long? Hey buddy. He's taking a nap. Our culprit, it would seem, an Ixel. And no ordinary Ixel either. A chieftain. That they would venture this deep into enemy territory. The beastmen may indeed be acting under orders. <laughs> this is Papalimo. We found How the are culprit. we feeling then? It was an Better? Chieftain. Good. Yes, we'll see. I didn't even answer. I like your tattoos. Either? Giant oh, crystals. Can't say I've What's seen any. Are you sure you're feeling better? Understood. Their noses are so small, it looks Word like they out. just have like 
dirt on their face. What's up, Dommy? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Came in with the raid. This game is better than WoW. Yeah, I, I, uh, I recently got back into Burning Crusade. And we got a follow and give Dogo some pupper piles cookies. And thank you so much for the follow, Kugo Gum cookies. Yum. And, uh, I'm actually having fun with Burning Crusade, and uh, when you obviously you have a subscription for WoW, you you can get into retail. So I logged in because I haven't played retail in many, many, many years, and I logged in, and man, they ruined that game. <laughs> so uh, my buddy was talking to me about this, and I bought I bought this when it first came out, and I played I think for the first two weeks or something. Um, because that's when the government had shut down and I was on furlough and uh, But then I never played since so and it was funny because I was watching a buddy play Some games today, and I noticed a lot of people I follow on Twitch were starting to play this too. So Is, is there some sort of event or something going on that I don't know about? Like why is it all of a sudden taken off again? Kuploka. Please bear word of these developments to Brother Esumian. We shall soon return to give a full report. Understood. Over and out. Goodbye. <laughs> Just flies away. Also, what level do you get a mount? Because I have a mount, I just can't use it. Till next time. Take care. Bye. See you. I think that sword might be a clue. You should definitely pull it out and take it back to the bannock. What is this? Sword in the stone? Sword in the tree stump? <laughs> you don't suppose that adventurer could see Kuplo Cop, do you? Oh, was I not supposed to? And this occurs to you now? Uh. Yes, it seemed that way. Well, time will have to, because you won't. You never tell me what's real. I recognize going her on. voice actress. Unless you don't know what's going on either. But I can't place it. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? You were craving an MMO and people or MMO and people pointed here. Nice. All I know is Unifesty Online is free until you level 60. Is it? I thought you had to buy a subscription. I thought I was able to get in just because I picked up the expansion. Alright, I'm not gonna click this until I read this. Mount is by level 2628. Okay. There's a huge migration from WoW due to a lot of big name. Wow, influencers saying, wow, fuck it. Yeah, they ruined it. They ruined that game. I mean, it's been going down here for a while now, but oh my god. I logged into, um, I had higher levels. I logged in and they, you know, they did a level squish and oh my god, it's bad. Also, what's up, Rooster? Sorry, I just realized that you said that. The mountain is when you choose your military. You choose a military? Yellow, red, and green. Only then can you get your mount. All chocobos are yellow until you change their feather colors. Whoa! Because, okay, so I can show you what I have. I have a fat chocobo. And I have this thing. But I can't use them yet. Lizma Luminosa, red military, old uh, green military. Okay, so I don't know what the military stuff is yet. That's new. Okay, I need to get... I need to go to Gridania. I could... teleport, but it's like right there, so... Oh. Finished... story. Yellow is Gridania military. Oh, is one of those pirates? I don't either. 
And I'm higher level than dummy. <laughs> you choose a side, but they all cooperate with one another. Gotcha. I'm assuming it's... Um, they all, they have, like, their benefits and stuff. Also, Rooster, you have this game, right? W weren't you playing this with, um... Aw, oh, crap, I forgot his gamer tag. Uh, Mega Man? Free company, I gotcha. <laughs> no, a, a buddy of ours, um, when his, uh, make gamer tag is something, something, Mega Man, something. See, this trial by Earth one just keeps showing up. Okay, maybe a... Okay, I'll go to Old Gridania. Maybe we'll find something there. The map is very confusing to me still. Oh, you've been playing it off and on for the last few weeks. Oh, dude, we should totally play together. I'm assuming you're on the primal data center or whatever it's called. You have a Mega Ben in your channel? Oh, crazy. Okay, so maybe I don't have quests here to turn in. I could have swore I would have. Hmm. Alright, where is my... I only... Oh, dude, I only have two quests. Okay, I must have turned in all my other quests then. And I just never realized it. Okay, so where is hunting log? Oh, I need one more. I need to... Searfid, wherever those are from. Central Shroud, Green Tear. So, when, when you finish... Oh, you get them per class. So, when you finish these, you get a bunch of experience. And then I'm assuming it unlocks another. Oh, okay. Okay, I understand. Man, there's a lot to this game. Holy crap. I'm really, I'm already into it. You're very new to the Final Fantasy franchise. Oh, well, welcome. Um, have you, well, when, so you say you're new. I'm going to turn down the, the game sound a little bit so I can talk with you guys. Okay, so when you say you're new. Have you played any of the Final Fantasy games? Also, since we're talking Final Fantasy, check it out. I recently found this again. Since you said you're new, you might not recognize it, but they're they're pretty popular and known in the gaming community anyways, but check it out. So it's Aerith, but you rotate it because it's holographic, then it turns into Tifa. Isn't that cool? Found this on a an artist on Etsy. I just need to find a place for it. And this sounds like concerning hobbits. You can't convince me otherwise. You're fifty one scholar, Arcanist branch, and on Primal Data Center. Oh. I'm on Primal as well. Level 20. Okay, so is this game... I'm assuming the leveling is a bit faster because they want... They don't necessarily want you to, but you can technically level up each class per person, right? Oops, I don't have focus on the game. So... I don't know. It sounds like that they'd want you to be able to level a little fast. You've only played Final... Oh, there's your answer. You've only played Final Fantasy X until the water sport and never progressed because I loved the sport. <laughs> That's the one with Titus, right? 
Rooster, you're on a boosted server. Where did you go? What's a boosted server? Uh, I'm on, um, Ultros. You only started playing on July 2nd. Gotcha. Yeah, wasn't that cool, Serial? Dope, huh? I believe Ben and I are about to sleep since it's 3.30. Oh, yeah, it's, um, it's 4.30 here. So you just follow the top left quest. Yeah, the tribal fire, right? And, like, I found this, and I went and stood on it, on the map, but it didn't actually exist on the map. It was weird. I told you, Serial, it takes forever to install. Oh, see, so you did... See, Serial had to buy a game time. You level your main class super fast. Okay. Yeah, one character you play, every class and profession. Yes, I think that's cool. You can level all the casts with the same character, and that's when you do all the other side quests. Oh, I kind of assumed that you would get um, a main quest for the other classes. Okay. Okay, interesting. So I don't want to do, like, all the side quests and stuff, which I've been doing. Top left, of, yeah, Chasing the Shadows. It, well, it says Trial by Earth underneath it, right? Chasing Shadows, Trial by Earth. Is that not the same thing? I thought, I thought Chasing Shadows is the main scenario, and then Trial by Earth is, like, the sub scenario of the main one. Legacy is what they are called. Get 100% bonus experience for everything. Well, isn't. Okay. So, how did you get that, Rooster? Also, everyone, Funk Face is Rooster. He's just on his other account. Um, how did you get the Legacy one? Because Ultros has been. Is this one of their first servers? So I would assume that this would be a legacy as well. Maybe not. You know side quests now, all main quests. Trial by Earth is your class quest. You do those every five levels. Okay. Side quests, side quests, main quests, and main quests, as my professional says. See you next year when you beat the game. <laughs> main quests and main, qu main side quests are blue. Okay, so I need to stop doing all the mini. Actually, I think I'm only on um, side quests or main quests now, right? Because this is a main one and this is a main one. So, so I apparently I, I did all the side quests in the, that I found until I just unlocked that new area. Okay, so I won't do that. Should I not do the hunting ones, too? I mean, I kind of feel like I should probably do those. What is this? Oh, right. Inventory. Okay. Yeah, so do trial by Earth and focus on chasing shadows. Okay. Then when another class pops up in five levels, you do that one. Okay, so I'm going to have... This is a level five one. Right? Trial by Earth? Is that what that said? So I already technically have another one because I'm level 10. So I have to finish Trial by Earth and then it's going to give me another one for level 10. Okay. Don't focus hunting if you find the creatures marked for it, kill them, but don't... Yeah, okay, that's what I've been doing. Is when I see the little symbol, I'll, I'll kill him. Basically, I can do the two quests in the top left of your HUD. Gotcha. Okay, thank you for the information. That helps out a lot. Oops. Close the thing I didn't mean to close. Cool. Okay. Oh, getting old farmers. Okay, so well, if I'm here, I might as well go to... Oh, he's not here anymore. He's at Stillglade Fane. 
wherever that's at. Okay. Oops. There you go. What the? Oh my god. <laughs> A little bit. Oh, that's another thing I've already seen. Um, all the little, uh, like, companions and stuff that I've seen people have, there's there's a lot of cleverness that are built, is built into this game. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Conjurer's Guild. Also, at some point, you need to find the casino... Not only is it tons of fun, it's lot tons of fun. I'm the type who waits for friends to join me in dungeons and I do side quests as well as side quests to pass the time before I do dungeon because I'm chicken shit to do it alone. Can you actually do dungeons alone? What's a party composition? Is it four or five people? You can queue up alone, but you have to wait for randoms. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's just pugging. Alright, hey, dude. Ah, oh, Faze, you have returned, but tell me, how did you fare under Nolano's expert tutelage? Have you delved deep into the earth and felt its suffocating weight, its life sustaining vigor? Such experience will serve you well. And have you the aught else to report? Hmm, a fledgling conjurer named Selfie casts healing magic on you? A kind of her. I must confess, sharing Nolano's frustration with the girl. As you yourself have witnessed, Selfie possesses a natural talent for the conjury of mending and restoration. Alas, her gift appears to have been blinded her to the need for study, and she already refuses to learn from the natural world. She knows nothing of the elements of the earth and wind, and is quite incapable of conjuring even the tiniest pebble of the faintest breeze. I have tried upon numerous occasions to explain where the conjurers were ignorant of the source of their power posed risks to themselves and others, but all to no avail. Should she continue to deny that debt she owes to nature and indulge in ever more reckless displays of power, there is every possibility that she will create a dangerous imbalance. Needless to say, I am presently at a loss to know how such an eventuality might be prevented. Ah, a thought occurs to me, Faith. It may be that you encounter what Sylphie was ordained by the Elementals. Should you chance to meet with her again, I ask that you strive to impress upon her the importance of opening oneself to nature's voice. Mayhap she will listen to you. But we have discussed our wayward young friend's education enough. Let us speak instead of one of my more willing pupils, namely you. The progress you have made does you great credit, Faith. Though you are yet new to the art of conjury, you are no stranger to the nature's embrace. Considering all that you have learned, I hope you understand the true significance of these words. Thanks! Shield. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Lame. Lame. Wait, can I only have one ring? I should be able to put a ring there, right? Ooh, I also have a wrist. I want to get this ring. Aha! Rings for me. Also, what did you give me? Mine plus one. Mine plus one. Oh. I thought he gave me something else. He just gave me the same weapon? Do I have an offhanded? Oh, sick! Okay. Once you learn about the element of wind, greetings, Faith. Each time we meet, the part of Conjurer benefits you ever better. 
In your previous lesson, you learned about the element of earth. It is my desire that you next become acquainted with wind. Travel to the full flower comb in the east shroud and seek the teaching of Herr Wilfen. Wilfew. Wow. Though scant few years have passed since her coming of age, Wilfew is a conjurer of a cons consummate skill who is able to divine the will of air and elementals with uncommon clarity. I can recommend no better tutor for your lessons in the mysteries of wind. Nice. Eight AM Pacific is when you can get your new three scratchers. Oh, is that like a lotto ticket? Have a good one, Ben. Thank you again so much for the raid. I hope you sleep well. I should probably be passing out here soon as well. <laughs> yes, go go get them the kitty cuddles. You, oh, there's Rooster. You guys know you can make your chat bot bigger. It's so tiny, like the actual text size. Chatbot, you mean like it, it, in the game? Like here? Behind me? Also, I like reading so time pass when I do side quests. I like to... <laughs> She's just scratching her nose. I practice my fake accents. <laughs> Ad Lavra Gorehorn. Oh, that's a great name. Really bad connection to your servers, apparently. I kind of... I was worried about that cereal. How bad is it, dude? Yeah. Look at my shield. I'm a fierce. It looks like... <laughs> looks like I just pulled a brick off the street and put duct tape on it. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, HUD layout. Hold on a minute. <gasps> Yo! Hold on. I don't know what any of this is. Oh! Dude! Okay. So I can change... Oh! I love this! This is super cool. I like this a lot. This is super cool. Yes, that's super cool, dudes. Um, Ultros. Um, it says in the top right. I like using the menu list when you hit. Also, non pen or options on PlayStation. Oh, that's adorable! Wait, the menu list? I don't have that. Um, mine turns into um, a little pointer finger. Yeah, personal HUD is... That's cool, because now I need to move some stuff around. Because I was looking at it, I was like, Oh man, I wish I could have this thing over here, or a thing over here. Can you... Can you make your... Oh, that's cool. You can sh only show ones. Oh, there. That's what I'm looking for. Yes. I want vertical. Like, these are my buff bars. It'd be nice if I could be like, hey, line up this Come on, there you go. Come on. This is awesome. Every game should be able to do this. Those, those ones look... Those ones. Over there. Those ones look lower than these ones for some reason. But they're not. They're the same. Uh, 
don't know what most of that is. I'll figure that out later. I don't know what duty gauges and stuff are yet. That's cool, you can have multiple. Ooh. Man, this is super cool. I'm in it. I'm dizzy down. Or ding him. Oh, you can even move your mini map? That's so cool. Oh, duty list. There we go. Move this. Duty list. There we go. Okay. Focus target bar. This is super cool. Neat. Save. I dig. So, I should be able to do this. How do I show that hot bar? I don't know how to show the other hot bar. Pirate Market has more people in it than our server in WoW than people has in WoW. Wow. HUD layout, right click if you don't want to see it. Oh. Hmm. Right click's not doing anything. Whoa. You can copy, that's super cool. Up bar, what number is that? Eight? What's that doing? There it goes. So, can I make these, like, transparent? What is that? Oh, shit. Let's move. Okay. I didn't want to do that. Oh, maybe that's what that is. I can make this movable. I don't want it to be. Oh, no. There it goes. Save. Oh, see, now it's gone. Fuck! Need that back. I wish I could hide it. Like, make it somewhat transparent. Okay, there's... I guess here's the transparency. Ah, that's size. Oh, okay, so you can actually change your bars too, so... You can have them be stacked differently. That's super cool. I don't know what this is. Doesn't seem to do anything. That's fine. I wish I could... Oh. Uh, whoa. Okay. Oh, I fucked it up. I made it worse. What the fuck? Why doesn't it just stay there? I want you to not move. Interesting. Might have to figure that out at some other time. You only turn on and off. The only thing transparent is the map. A 
Okay. You right click for hide some HUDs? Gotcha. That's crazy. You can toggle through all of them. Alright, so we can at least lock that down. I can probably move these now. Sick. I'm gonna bind that to a, a key at some point. I wanna see what this looks like. Cool, I throw a rainbow. Neat. Wow, they have a crap ton of emotes. Holy cow. Uh, what's your ping, Serial? Dude, I could easily spend an hour messing with my UI. Absolutely, because that's the thing that I absolutely cannot stand in WoW. It's like, I can only have these, what... The two stacking axe bars on the right and the ones in the front. It's like, oh, just let me move the shit. Um, oh, right. How do you add friends? Social... Friends list. Uh... Player search? Search. Yeah, sweet. That's super cool. All right. You're on Primal Exodus. Serial Strife. Hey, <laughs> that's great because uh, both the characters I made uh, are from Seven as well. Oh, can't do a space. What did you choose? Oh. Will it not tell me? Um, what you are? Oh. It says, oh, I just don't know the symbols yet. Okay. What'd you pick, Serial? Two ten ping? I don't think that's a too bad of a, a thing. I mean, I haven't tried an instance. It's not like it's Overwatch where lowest ping possible is needed, right? You'd have to travel to the um. Well, Lavra, I would have to travel to, but if Serial made his character on this server, then he should be able to just be on, um, a party with me, right? You're an Arcanist? Nice. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Also, what do you guys think of the new layout? Now I look at you guys, and I play a game over here. Sweet. Look at- I got a little fat purple pig. He brings me joy. You're an Arcana Scholar. Nice. I'm assuming you can only be one class at a time. Right? You can't be, like, partials. Cookie time! Cookie time. You don't want them cookie! And this is cookie? Okay. Um. How far away is that? East Shroud. Oh, okay. So that's me. 
and I'm assuming you can walk up here and it'll take you there. I'm guessing. Free trials can only be added, not add. I don't know what that means, Rooster. Yes! Yeah, I was confused. Um, yeah, I, I, got, I got game time because I picked up the expansion. Oh, are you on a free trial, Rooster? Okay, I got you. Oh, each trial's right up there. Oh, I have a quest right there. Alright, run. So is it is it free to play or I thought you you had to buy actual game time? Oh yeah, um, I had a get my whole account recovered because I said earlier um, I had the game when it first came out and I hadn't played it since so I had no idea what it was my account information and on top of that <laughs> I had a an authenticator on it which I do that phone was like five phones ago so I had to get that removed it was not as painful as like trying to get freaking wow account recovered. How the fuck? Uh, I guess take a boat. Is that how that works? Can I take a boat? Take a boat. Um, maybe talk to the fairy man? Hi. Seek passage to the lavender beds. My apologies for the inconvenience, but this fairy is presently out of service. Well, that sucks, because I need to get over there. Man. I need to get over there. Don't tell me I can't get over there. Free to play up to the second expansion. Got you. Oh, something just happened. Oh, thank you so much for the host, dummy. Um. Well, that's annoying. There's gotta be... How do I zoom out more? Zoom out more. More. There we go. See? It takes me right to it. Oh, maybe I gotta get to take this. So I need to go to... Aw, oh, man. Is there actually a path there? No, no. Also, I'm in a city, right? 
have the symbol. Okay. Can't go in that one. What time is it? It's five in the morning. I have plans later. All right, I, I should I should go to sleep. I should, I need it. I need to get off because <laughs> I have plans later and I'm going to be freaking wiped out if I don't end here. So slightly see through. Yes, we love it. All right. All right, my friends, cereal. Um, we'll have to play some definitely, um, but I need to pass out. I am level 10. Um, I mean, we can play any point, but it, uh, I figured it's normal time for you, so you can uh, get up to 10 and we'll have to play some. I'm totally down, um, but I think this is where I have to call it because it's 5 in the morning and uh, I need to get some sleep. Uh, let's see, do I have any friendarinos on? Wow, my f my follows list of people that are live right now are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 people live right now and all but one have 40 plus viewers and one of them is bob ross <laughs> all right so i don't think i'm gonna go for a raid but uh you have to be up in five hours yeah, sim dommy dommy you go get yourself some sleep we, we all need to be sleep times but um i'm gonna focus the game just so it's not in 20 fps and uh, we have some sound, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys had fun. Um, I, I'm definitely going to be playing some more of this uh, here in the future. Uh, Monday, we're going to be starting a story game. I don't haven't decided which one yet, but uh, we'll be starting a brand new playthrough of a game. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm still playing around with the, the new kind of layout that I got going on. I don't know if I'm going to switch back to a non green screen or not, but we're playing with it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys had fun. If you guys did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know what you like and what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay and neuter your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Yes, mom duties. Kids can wake up. That is important. Jada wants to come. You want to come say hi? Come here. Oh, you get him. Now Jada's like, oh, I... I I heard the outro. That means it's I'm going to sleepy time. You already had your dinner. You don't get dinner. Um, th you can see the butt wagon. There's a butt wagon. Love you. All right, my friends. Thank you guys for joining out with me. Ben, thank you so much for the raid. Dami, thank you so much for the follow. Ben, also, thank you for the follow. Hopefully, we'll get to see your beautiful faces again here soon. Uh, but I'm Visa. This Jada is here. Is the Jada. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.